This is the show that you need to be on right now because, you know, it is the show that you need to be on. It is. There's some cool, really cool Hermes pieces over here as well. So, mm. Isabel, how do you feel like being in, back in London? How does it feel? I'm so happy in London. It's like my happy city. I, I used to live here about 10 years ago, so a long, long time ago. And I just feel like I'm home again. I just love it here. You're and you've been enjoying your park run in the morning. Did you go today? Yes. I run, today? I run faster in London. I have one of my best 5K times ever in London. So, yeah. I've been running early in the mornings here. I'm like back getting healthy again yeah. in London. So, the great. US... USA crew have been re reunited in London. Kristen, yes. do you want to say hi? We got this one over here as well. We've got <laughs> Kristen. Who here follows Kristen? <laughs> hi, everyone. Who I here knows tripped. Kristen? She just tripped. She tripped and died. <laughs> now she's covering me. Hi. I, love her. Yes. I do love her so much. <laughs> hi, Nilsa. Hi, Nadia. <laughs> Hello. Who here knows Shop and Sift, Kristen? If you don't, then you need to go and follow her. Uh, so so we were all in the USA together, which was one of the most epic yes. experiences of Luxury Promise. So fun. Um, and we have been reunited. Hi, they couldn't stay away. We cannot stay away. Yeah. Yeah. London was calling. They yeah. like the sleepless nights. Yeah, we and do. And the overworking, you know. Yes. What can you say? <laughs> Treat. It's like, you know, like, like treat them mean, keep them key, like overwork, <laughs> yeah. tired, and they still come yeah, back. But they surround yeah. us with beautiful handbags. You're yeah, like, yeah. more handbags. Exactly. More. exactly. It's like Isabel finds a piece and she's like, I'll try that on. I'm like, do you have to try on every, are you trying every piece? She's like, yes. yes. And then they're like, oh, how much is it? I'm like, it's coming from my show. Do not touch it. Yeah. <laughs> we try it all on. Yeah. It's all we do all day. So you oh, created fun. some amazing pieces yes, from the USA. Yeah, to take back to the US. Yes. yes. They're be Fendi, ready to wear, and it just, so stay really tuned good. for the US shows, guys. Yeah. Do you want to do a sneak stuff? peek? Do you want to peek? Bring a sneak bring peek. One, bring one, bring one, Bring, a, okay. bring one. We're going to do a well. sneak preview yes. of the USA show so you guys know yes. what, to, what to expect when the US shows happen when you're back in yeah. the USA. Yes. Out of the week. United Kingdom. I know. It's really good pieces. Hey, everyone. So while um, Kristen gets that, should we start with our first piece? Yes. I'm going to give you the honours of the first piece. The honors of the first piece. So I'm going to actually go with, I'm going to start little. So I'm going to go with uh, jewelry because I, from the packaging to the pieces, I genuinely love these Dior earrings. So they come with a little shopping bag. They come with a box. And this is a box. They usually launch them around Christmas for the holidays. And in here, you have these beautiful, beautiful Dior earrings that have the, uh, the rhinestones throughout. No rhinestone has fallen off. These are in truly perfect condition. You have the little pearl detail on the front and on the back. These are clip-on, by the way. You have the large pearl, uh, pearl detail. So this would sit... Let me take mine off, actually, so you guys can see where they would sit. These would sit about here. So you would have Ooh, the small cute. little pearl where, your, where the hole is, and then the Dior word would be right out underneath your earlobe. So they're really pretty. And then if you wore your hair up, you would have the detail of the large pearl in the back. And these are literally flawless like they come with a dust bag they come with a box they come with a shopping bag they come with everything Can and it's gold hardware off? could you take let's see i don't i think the dior is part of the back actually no it's one piece so you can't separate the so dior. they're quite rare to come by yes. the tribute is usually just normal pain, correct right? yeah but these like they're absolutely beautiful and i love the fact that they would sit right below the earlobe so it's just yeah. Very fancy, isn't it? And if you have your air pierced higher up, you can have it like yep. a little cuff. You can have it as a little cuff as well with a Dior kind of hugging the, the ear on the side as well. But I just love the fact that you have details everywhere because you have the nice sparkly on the front, you have the big pearl detail on the back, and you have the little pearl on the front. Yeah, they're like a new edge twist to the classic yes. tribute. And they're a good size. Like These are probably about like an, a little bit over an inch in length. So they're, they're actually they're a really good size. And they're not extremely heavy, so they're not going to pull your earlobe down. We can't try them on because they're piercing, just for hygienic reasons, but... Can I just put them against yes. my edge, you know? Like, she likes to try clothes on, but I like to I like to try, to try clothes on, on a lot, yes. <laughs> can't never have enough clothes. Here you go. Look at that, we're twinning now. Yeah, twinning. Yeah. But these, I mean, they're honestly flawless. And it's gold hardware with the rhinestones throughout. Like, the sparkle in these are absolutely beautiful. I find these, like, really girly. Like, you can feel... I feel like I could be do your vibes with my big floaty skirt on and Dior earrings, and my plain skirt becomes Dior when you stick Dior earrings but on. See, I would totally wear these as well with like ripped denim yes. and like a leather jacket, and then have that be like my little like You're just fancy. Cool. That's why. No, I just, I, I feel like I like, I like the edgy like, yeah. but I like classic pieces with a little bit of like an edgy look. Me too. I'm so, ready for the price. So I love these so, so much. And they're honestly in flaw. This is like a full set with the chopping bag, the box, the dust bag, everything. And the price for these is 350 pounds, which is around 430 USD. 
Sorry guys, I've still got a chip now. <laughs> I have just been looking at that now. There. That just shows you the struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> I need to go tomorrow Mine to get my chip nails done. done. Yours look good. <laughs> I have Yours look like salted caramel. Mine look like done. burnt something snap. No, I got my grace cover. I did my nails right before coming to London. I'm like, if I'm going to go to London, I might as well look good while I'm in London. So yeah. So if you want this, tap on the little cut icon yes. above. And don't forget, customs and duty is included in that price. Yeah. There's just shipping. And yes, as Nancy's saying, they're 5 They're a bargain, yeah. They are a great and price. And they are a full set. Like, it even comes with a little shopping bag as well. It comes with everything. Everything and more. Yep. And you can buy it off your favourite live show host, Isabel. Yes. What more else do you need in live, guys? <laughs> so, Kristen, are you coming back? She ran off. Kristen, come back. Okay, so, while Kristen, um, Kristen comes back, we are going to do a pair of vintage Chanel earrings since we're on the whole jewellery vibe. So, I have in my hands a very incredible pair of Grippois Pearl earrings, which you know Grippois is very highly collectible, finished with that amazing pearl coating. So the beauty about vintage Chanel jewelry is that you get that fine feeling of jewelry. It's got the 24 karat gold gilding, and I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see my nails in closer detail, as well as the, uh, um, we did, we had such a nice dinner. So, um, as you can see, there is no enamel chipping. Yes, my nails need to be done. Uh, they are, uh, really nice they're a nice small size as well and they're they half an inch or so yeah they're about eight from the 80 so you can see the whole mark is still inside and thank you shirley shirley likes my outfit i went i did a... her outfit is so good husband... i love her jacket I my husband was jacket. making fun out of me because today we had my son's sports day he was like you're the only mum who's walking around with a big like, looks like a fairy where all the other mums in their workout gear. Oh, I did the same thing. Well, I'm, I'm not working. Yeah. I'm not running. I've gone in heels <laughs> in my son's soccer games. So I'm like, I'm here. I don't care. Diana won a race in a skirt. There yeah. you go. And there you go. There you go. So this doesn't come with the original box, but it comes with a luxury promise box. And you can see they look very nice and elegant on. Very chic, simple statement piece. But they're Chanel and they give you the Chanel facelift. And they're a nice size. I love the pieces which don't have the typical CC on. If you it's want to subtle, have like yeah. a... You know, someone was like, where are your earrings from? Don't you know? They're Chanel. Yeah, that's the type of earring when you see it, it's like, if you know, you know. Because yeah. it has a, it has a, the trim around the pearl. It's actually very, very Chanel. But the fact that it doesn't have a Chanel logo makes it very, very subtle. So it's definitely one of those that if you know Chanel, yeah. you know they're Chanel. And they grip well, just to, just to add as well. Just a little extra, <laughs> extra little bonus in there. And the price we are ready for. Um, so the price of these is 695 pounds, which are 854 US dollars. Now, if you know Grippa, if you know vintage Chanel jewelry, these are very reasonably priced. And plus, where else can you get these pieces from? They're not that many places Nowhere. that you can go. I would say no. Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. Just here. Just here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this one because summer's running around the corner, and I feel like you don't really see the, yes. bags like this very often. So this is a YSL Raffia camera bag, and I love anything in this shape. I, every time I see this shape, I get super excited. So when I see this shape in a summer variation, I automatically fall in love. You have the gold YSL logo in the front. You have this beautiful brown leather trim all the way throughout the bag. You have, just wait for all the details, guys, because you have an adjustable strap, and one of my personal favorite things, a tassel. Any bag that has a tassel, I absolutely just adore. And you have this beautiful long tassel and around the trim, it says Saint Laurent. So it, Saint Laurent Palace actually. So you have beautiful um, YSL details all the way throughout. It is in immaculate condition. Like I actually don't see any signs of darkening or corner wear on this bag at all. The leather trim here as well, it's very smooth. There's no really any scratches on it. The inside, and I love the fact that it's adjustable because I'm quite short, so when something's adjustable, it's a huge bonus for me. It comes with a dust bag. The inside is this is very good condition, right? This, yeah, this is like this is really really good. So in the inside you have a dark brown, um, kind of like a a cotton canvas interior, and you have one pocket on the side. Inside this pocket, you do have one little spot, which is I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's right there. It's it's very small. And it's inside the inside the pocket, inside the pocket's pocket. So. Nothing really that screams out to really point out, but this is a beautiful bag. And so let me put it on so you guys can see the work. And this is actually on, I would say, a lot of classic twists. I, I love this. Yeah, this is like, I mean, you, I'm so short, guys. 
no, most people are not my height, and I don't even have high heels on, so I'm extra short, and now I, I feel like I look even more short now. <laughs> but <laughs> it is a great lens, and I, I personally love the fact, the combination of the, of the light raffia with the dark brown all the way throughout. It's absolutely beautiful, and you can probably, can we tuck the, the strap in and make it you a- You probably could. Right? Let's see. That tassel, has actually, the tassel you can actually remove. So if you want to use a tassel for something else, like a keychain, or put it in a different bag, the tassel is removable. But I wonder if you can just tuck all of this in. Cause There's something about wrapper tote bags that I just think are just chic and elegant. And they never run out of style at all. Uh, the internet, the, sorry, the Dior earrings are not clip-ons. They're uh, pierced. Those are pierced. So these are pierced ear ears and they look like that. Beth, I'm happy that you're my height. We share, we share that small. So you can close the zipper if you tuck the chain in, but you can definitely also wear it like this. And it's just, it's a classic combination. It'll never run out of style. This is a very elegant shape from YSL, and they've just made it into a, the perfect spring summer bag. And my try it on. There's just no darkening. There's this nothing. is something it's that beautiful. I think this with like a, like, you know, jeans and a t-shirt or yes. just a, a floating Anything, dress. Anything, yeah. Just makes Let's it just put this tassel out. Let's get the tassel ready. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> you would see Sabrina walking around London yeah. just like, spinning that no! tassel. <laughs> but it, is, it yeah. is absolutely beautiful. And the, the fact that you can adjust it as well. So I'm yes. five foot four. Um, She's so petite. tall. She's so I'm tall. I'm still petite. But yeah, very nice bag. Can you just put it back up? Because yes. I feel and like we're like... <laughs> Did the price for that one come up? Not yet. No, it's coming. It's coming. Oh look, everybody's saying they're my height. C five one. It's five quite a one. common height though. Not, not in the five US. Five. Like everywhere I go, I'm actually like the shortest one. Oh my god! So the price of this is mental. Sorry, that's Six, not a normal price. Six hundred ninety-five pounds, which is eight hundred fifty-four US dollars for this. That is, I mean, guys, you well, can't even get a white so wallet for that price. Excellent condition. With dust a dust bag. bag. Kind of like five foot. If you, even if you're five foot seven, you. This, oh, they'll definitely work. A yeah. bag goes with anybody. Like, that is you don't true. need a bike. You don't need any bike <laughs> for a bag. You just yeah. need the bag. <laughs> yeah, that is, especially when it's raffia. Like, raffia always really just comes full force for the summer. It's absolutely beautiful. This is very pretty. So, since we're talking about summer vibes. Oh, the, I, I was hoping you would go for that one. That's going to look so good with your outfit. I'm going to go for this pink beauty. Um, so, guys, if you want that YSL bag, the icon will appear. Oh, my God, we've got 154 people on. Ah, so, guys, guys, tap on that icon, which I don't see. Can you see the icon? I haven't put it up yet because the picture was taking a while to get. So I've ah, got the okay. picture now, so there it is. So there you go. There oh, we there go. You go. Just tap on that, guys. That customs an, an included. Amazing price, yes. Six nine five pounds, whatever it is in dollars. Customs included. Fifth, Ten pound UK shipping. Fifteen pound Europe, and thirty five pounds for the rest of the world, which is you know, and we like whatever. <laughs> Well, I'll send you a nice little handwritten note in the bag as well. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, if you do want a nice Prada bag uh, for your summer attire, then let me talk about this beauty. So, this is actually a vintage piece. Now, the Napa bag is kind of like the canopy bag is now being you know introduced as more of a square. But I kind of like this like bucket shaped one. Now. Um, it's a denim finish, so it's a canvas finish, which kind of has like a, a denim look. It's got the beige Prada to the front. Uh, it has even the little Prada to the side, which I really like. Now, there is obviously some wear to the bag, so there is some like wear away from the colour, which is very normal on canvas. Now, because it has that like denim look, I feel like even when this becomes more and more vintage, I feel like that's part of what the design yeah, is, Yeah, and right? what you can tell from this logo, you can kind of tell that's a distressed logo that the yeah. bag has. So like that wear would actually make this bag even look more cohesive in general. Exactly, and it's like the character of the bag as well. So what I like about this is that you can wear it as like a nice little cute top handle, like I am with my like floaty dress. <laughs> uh, but this comes with a strap. Now this is quite rare to come by guys with the strap. So often we get these pieces in and the strap is missing. You don't get the full set. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. You, it's adjustable. So I'm like gonna put it on my shoulder. You can adjust it. Again, you can have it taller, longer, shorter, however you want so that you can see. Uh, love the US energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Comes with the actual card as well, which is quite rare to come by as well. Has a nice clean interior. And one thing that I know some people like to have is a secure compartment for your keys and your cars. And it has that. Also has a like a little hook that you could hook maybe into your your keys and your car, like a 
So the, the little, made. like the little, um, a lot of people have a little like um, pochettes from the from Louis Vuitton, like the clue pochettes. Yeah, that's perfect for that. Just took it off. Yes, that's what you got to do. Uh, it's really nice and cute. It's clean, um, which it's is the main thing. It's such a pretty pink too. Comes with a dust bag for the strap, but not for the original thing. And then, like I said, the inside is nice and clean. I'm going to open the pocket just to make sure the pocket inside is clean. It's and such a pretty also pink. nice it's and so clean. Pretty. It's pretty and pink. Yeah. Now, the price of this, I'm sure it's going to be good. I feel it. I feel Let's it. Let's see. I feel it in my fingers. And she is right. This is only <laughs> 495 pounds, which is 608 USD. Which for is a Prada bag Prada with bag. a strap, yeah. with a top handle, perfect for summer, or add that pop of colour during the winter months. Yeah. It's beautiful. There you go. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, a, with a, something that I find really, really cool. Because... This print is actually from a runway year. I actually own this print in the Pusha Matisse, so I'm a huge fan oh, of really? this print. Yeah, so they did a couple of handbags um, for, I can't remember the year, I want to say 2017 maybe, but I'm not, don't quote me on that, I think. But they did a lot of the floral black and white. I generally love any combination that has black and white because I, make, I feel like it makes it timeless. In this combination, you kind of have like a paisley but floral and just like very abstract black and white combination. This is um, a mixture of a smooth leather where the, you have the larger prints, but you have white epi behind. It's the LV Twist Bag on the smaller side. The LV Twist Bag is one of their fairly newer models, but it automatically became a classic. And now they do it pretty much every season with different variations. What made it so cool was the way that you open it, because you have the LV, then you twist it, you just get the V, and then you pull the strap out. Now, a lot of people, oh, by the way, condition of this, I'm like talking about the handbag, I never look in that condition. It's perfect. Like, if you like white bags, but you're afraid of committing to a white bag because of color transfer, the fact that this is epi and you have the black throughout makes this extremely, extremely clean. I wear mine all the time and I haven't had any issues with color transfer. The condition, the corners, there really isn't any signs of rubbing here. You have a little bit of darkening here, but it's on the epi part. I am 99.9% .9 sure that that will come right off, actually. And should we test, test it? Test it, because I've had that on mine and it comes off. Like, okay. I, that's let's gonna come see, off. Let's, let's do the test and see. That's gonna come off. What was, and what was 0.1%? You'll off? see, guys. And if it doesn't come off, she has faulty wipes. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have the American wipes. There you go. Okay, let's see. Zero Where is it? That will come off. It's already coming off. See? Okay, she was. Guys, it's not the leather. Right, it's, guys, I'm gonna clean it with my little. Look, it's gone. So hold that. I'll tell you, epi leather is amazing. If you guys want white, epi leather. Because now it is gone. Imagine if you was 0.1% wrong. <laughs> it's, oh, the it's, 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 it's the white. It's not me. It's the white. I like the display. It was going to be the white before. Yeah, it's the white. It's just how the American white. So this one comes with a dust bag. And guys, these bags, so this one has a black red interior. You have a little pocket on this side and then another small pocket on here. Most people don't know this. Let me hold this for one second because I own twist packs as well, and I did not know this until actually recently. So you have the long chain where you can adjust it, similar to the wallet on chain, where you can wrap it around, wear it crossbody, over the shoulder, however you want to wear it. Very versatile. But in this model, you can actually take this off because it has little holes on the side. Tuck the chain inside the back and just attach this to the top. And make oh, it a little oh, handle I've top. Seen it. I had I've, no idea I've you seen could do that. that. But I just thought it was this like a certain model. I thought it was a certain model too. And when I asked my essay about it, she's like, your bag does. And I'm like, what? And that she told me. So you can actually thing. wear it as a top handle as well. So you kind of get two bags, two completely different looking bags, because there's no chain or a chain bag. And it is really, really, really cool. That is really bag. cool. And so this is a limited I'm, edition print. Yeah. And the price is great as well. It is great as well. The price is two thousand two hundred pounds, which is two thousand seven hundred and six USD. These bags retail for over forty two hundred USD. So you're getting it almost half off for a very very limited edition print on a very classic Louis Vuitton style. Because this bag is you can gonna... twin with you. You guys can like twin. Yes, you can. Because I, I have the Pochette Matisse in this one. Because yeah, I love this print. Do you need it's a just... sister. I need a sister. I just have an older brother. So I need a <laughs> I've always wanted a sister. Okay, a sister. sister with the same bag. That's what she needs. Yes. But it's, it's honestly like super limited and just very versatile and I generally love this print. So guys, if you want that, you just tap on the icon and don't forget customs is included. And I can yes. see 
I can hear a little person in the background in the mirror if she's gone. She keeps coming. Kristen keeps coming on the side, trying clothes on and vanishing. <laughs> Kristen, come to your premium. Come back without this is, um, yeah, yeah, I believe this is the PM. I could see it. They've in the actually mirror. changed the names of these bags since this one launched. So I'm going to give you the measurements because okay. what used to be PM, um, I, it's changed a little bit. And I also found out through my essay when I was looking at a new one because they have a they have a smaller version of this, which is the mini. But this will fit your phone. This will fit all your essentials. The length of this one is, this is about seven inches, the length. And it's quite spacious and width. So literally all, all sorts of phones will fit in here. It's just, it's such a great bag, especially if you take the chain off and make it into a nice top handle. It'll give you very Hermes Kelly vibes. So I love this one. Can you share? Let's put this one. And if you guys have any more questions on this one, let me know. Very okay. easy to take the strap off and make it a top handle. Bag it's so funny. So Kristen's in the background trying stuff on. I can see her in the mirror looking like. <laughs> she's she's so looking this is what she's got on. So preview of what's coming to the USA, guys. Guys, dream job on. here. I love it. <laughs> This is so, guys, this is so of the moment. Oversized blazer, it is Chanel cashmere. These buttons are amazing. Giant gold CC stamped on the back. They are so good. You've got it all on the sleeve. Oh, right, you guys? I'm so distracting. I'm, I'm having my own personal fashion show. I know, got, wow. Actually, every, time, <laughs> every time I've been looking like, at the summer, she had a John Galliano. Can you bring the John Galliano? Yes. These are all preview. These are yeah, I'm going to show you one of my favorite previews. These so aren't um, right available for sale, right? But these will be coming onto the yes. shows with um, the team. I got to show them this preview because I love color. And you have this crop Louis Vuitton windbreaker with short sleeve. Inside the zipper, you have a hoodie so you can tuck the hood in and out. And when you or close it, it you have this beautiful monogram detail all the way throughout. These I love. This I want to buy. This might not make it. <laughs> Just I don't know if this is going to make it either. <laughs> I really, none none really, of this really stuff like is it. making it, you guys. Because well, we're going to be in my closet. <laughs> Can we just for a moment? This is John Galliano, you guys. Dior for Dior. Where are the guys? Just. So guys, Dior, John Galliano was the person who basically brought in the Dior saddle bag. Yes. He yes. was someone who made a big change in yes. the early 2000s. He also brought some Hermes bags. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah, we have the, one right there. That Jeep Sierra. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, Galliano, you guys, he was out there. He had long hair. He was a big personality. He did oh, the Dior saddle bag. Oh, sounds a bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will know if you're a big fashion fan, one of the most iconic ones was the camo and then the newspaper print. Carrie Bradshaw had it. He also did these amazing lace up details in so the Yeah, in terms of clothing, anything cool set style, yes, which I think he like kind of paved yeah. the way for Alexandra McQueen. Isn't this it stitch, Melissa? This detail oh here. It's insane. Amazing. So this yeah. will be coming, guys. It's not available. Hopefully. Just take a screenshot if you want it, guys. Hopefully. And then and just message me coming. and I'll let you know or, if I'm on or not. Or I'm it'll, just get lost, it'll get lost in transit. <laughs> yeah. Back and then you'll see me worrying at my Instagram page. You should do it. Okay, so we did have John Galliano, guys. Everything comes with first dibs onto this, onto, yeah. onto the website. Yes. So uh, Kristen was like, if this blaze jacket does not sell... I'm, I'll, bu I'll buy it. So it went online and it sold. And the day that she's hit London, we get a return package in and it's the coat that she wanted. It so was I do meant think to be. It was meant to be. And so she's walking away with this is her new coat. Are you ready? You guys. It John was Galliano as well. It was refunded. Meant to okay? be. Meant Look to at be. this. Amazing. And you guys know I'm from Canada, so this will be perfect <laughs> in my Canadian winters. <laughs> It was it not meant to be? They refunded this. So you snooze, you yeah. lose, you guys. Literally, it came it's on her door. It, it was on the chair that she's meant to be sitting. She's like, what? I thought this was this jacket here. So it was meant to be. That That's jacket fate. So pa practice jacket what you ja practice what you preach. She's talking about John Galliano and she's even buying it herself. Yes. So. Yeah. Manifested. 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 <laughs> I won the yellow Louis Vuitton one. Yeah. It was so bad. Right. Okay. <laughs> Are we meant to go for another one? Yes. Okay, I am. Since we're like talking about big pieces... I want to talk to you about this very big piece. Now this, you like that if you are somebody who loves vintage Chanel jewelry, I can promise you that you will not see this piece again. It's a one-off piece. Now when buying anything vintage, typically I like to buy pieces that you know that you can't just find anywhere and everywhere, including those pieces like those John Galliano jackets. Now those are the pieces that are the investment pieces. So just typical economics, guys. High supply, no, low supply, high demand drives the prices of pieces. 
Now, when buying Chanel jewelry and vintage Chanel jewelry, go for pieces that you know are no longer in production, that cannot be found, and in very good condition. Now, this is Gripoir Pearl, guys. Oh my God, it's so heavy. It is literally, the weight of this is incredible. It features the medallion classic head of Coco Chanel there with her Chanel earrings. She Even she's wearing her Chanel earrings, even in the medallion. <laughs> she has the Chanel facelift yeah, already. She's got the Chanel facelift yes. as well. Um, it has the Gripoir Pearl. Now, in terms of Gripoir, Gripoir is, you know, the ultimate when it comes to Chanel vintage jewellery. They no longer use the house of Gripoir anymore, but... If you look at vintage Chanel jewelry, like even ju vintage jewelry pieces, try to find pieces that have Gripoir. Some oh, other pieces which are non-branded like Chanel, not Chanel, but other brands, definitely grab them. They're definitely great pieces to have for your collection if you love vintage jewelry. Now, not only is this created from Gripoir, it's dipped with this like real pearl. So you get that feeling of pearl. So Chanel, you know, her was like every woman should be able to own uh, pearls. So she created these like faux pearls so that women could wear faux pearl details and still feel as elegant as wearing real pearls. So this is gilded all in 24 karat gold and it has even that cute little pear drop to the bottom in grip for pearl. Now, why do I love this piece? Because this is why, I'm gonna show you why. Are you guys ready? It sits those pearls. It sits as a choker, guys. It's adjustable, so this is so adjusted. Cool. I mean, this and this. So you get, it's not so only pretty. do you get chunky chain detail, you've got the medallion here of the Chanel head, and then you've got this incredible Chanel chunky chain with that pearl detail. Now, anything 80s and 90s is what I say is what Karl Lagerfeld came and he made a change in fashion. He basically allowed women to be able to make a statement with their fashion and their jewelry yeah. pieces. So when it, I spoke about on the, other, on the other day on my show, anything to do with layering, anything to do with big chunky chains that we see now, came all from Karl Lagerfeld. Like he went back to his drawing boards, he's inspired by vintage, like even all his designs, obviously having Chanel, her story, everything about Chanel is embodied in all the pieces that he created. So he always went back to the drawing board, back to the vintage timeless capsule pieces, and that's what we do when we sell vintage pieces. So I feel a little bit like Karl Lagerfeld. Yeah. <laughs> this is very, very, very rare. Now, guys, if you want to shop this piece, this is how it works. There is no number, so I'll tell you the number on this piece. So we will pin the piece on the top and you can just grab that piece here um, above. And this piece is from, uh, where has it gone? Oh God. Just this is actually an 80s piece so it's just marked chanel at the back now the price of this is 1785 pounds which is 2195 us dollars so just tap on that to grab away now i'm gonna go show you let's i'm gonna show you another i'm gonna show you a little classic piece then because she went super like bling i'm gonna show you something very 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 um oh the dior earrings of course here they are. So this is a full set in excellent condition. These are the Dior earrings that we show earlier where you have the little pearl in the front. I keep putting my earrings on. I don't know why I keep putting my earrings on. So you have the little the little pearl in the front and then Dior logo would sit right underneath the lobe. And then in the back of it, you would have this beautiful big pearl detail on the back. It is absolutely beautiful. It comes with a dust bag, comes with the box, comes with that shopping bag. It pretty much comes with everything. So. If you guys want to see those again, just let me know. Since she went for something so bulky, I was going to do a handbag, but I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm going to do another necklace. Why not? I'm going to go for this one. Because this one also has like group pride detail. And anything green, I just have like the one ear, ear right now. Anything that has green, I absolutely love. And this one has the green group and red as well. And it is, this is about probably about like an inch, inch and a half or so in length. And it is the 24 karat gold plated in amazing condition with no signs of tarnish at all. The pearls are faux pearls for the pearl necklace. Um, no signs of tarnish on this at all. The chain is this beautiful ch uh, chunky chain. And then you have the large clasp at the end, which makes it very easy to put on and off. You can wear this as a long medallion if you guys wanted to. I personally would probably wrap this around, which I'll do that now. Because of the length, you could probably wear this as a belt too, to be honest, and just have it be multi-ways to use it. But this is how we probably style this one. 
I would make it shorter, clip it, and use it like this. You can put the clasp on the back, you can put it on the front, up to you. But this is how I would probably wear it with a nice little V-neck or a turtleneck or a t-shirt. I love wearing chunky jewelry with anything that I have on. I don't think I don't think jewelry pieces these days are meant to be like, oh, this is for a night out or a casual. If you have it, enjoy it, wear it, maximize that cost per wear. So why not? And you have, as I was saying, the green and the red grappa. Now, I learned this recently from, oh, thank you. Thank you, Sylvie. I, um, my top is from a mess, but it's older mess, I think. <laughs> um, and I just recently, and Sabrina, correct me if I'm wrong, that the grappa is melted glass that they've used in here. So you have a lot of beautiful colors when the light reflects on yeah. these. You get a lot of striations and just beautiful like variation of the color inside. It looks really, really, really pretty. And the cue to like authenticating grappoir is making sure uh, that the it has like little bubbles in it. Yes, it's so and you and you can see the bubbles like it's if you can see that the it's little bubbly. bubbles in the corners. Yeah, it's it's the detailing, especially when you put it underneath the light. Like this doesn't do it justice with how nice this is. Um, the, the no shipping included. No shipping included. Just the duties, correct? And I think the, it's, this one has been pinned up already, so it means the price is coming up for this one quite soon. And this will be this. doubled up. I showed it double up. I would wear the double up. And you can yes. probably wear this. Could you wear this as a belt if you're like a mini human? Yes. You can totally wear this as a belt. See? You can. Voila. You can wear this as a belt as well. The price of this is 3,480 pounds, which is 4,280 USD. Okay. It's incredible. And now, I I'm, love this one. I'm going to move on to a little Prada bag because I am obsessed with this piece. It's kind of like... A cute little like doctor bag, like the style of it, the it shape is. of it is quite rare to come by. Now this is vintage Prada. Now personally, I love vintage Prada. This is crafted from that nylon. But what I love about this is got this leather uh, border, which you can see. So it has this kind of like doctor style bag, uh, which you can see. It's got the Prada to the front here, uh, which is really nice and cute. And it also has this nice crossbody strap. So. The Dior earrings. Congratulations. Ah, congrats. They're really the Dior pretty. Yeah, exactly. They're so pretty. Congrats. So They're this, beautiful. It's really cute. Like this is, I, I love the longness to this. I love the shape of it's it. It's quite, quite a nice girly piece, but also quite casual as well at the same time. And quite rare to come by with that little leather uh, opening. And I like the metal trim on the yeah. top as well. It makes it very, very elegant. Do you so, have the skew for this? Please? The skew? is oh and let me just quickly just show you open it by pushing this down again which is super cute um the skew on this this by the way i've just seen the price on this it's gonna be crazy <sighs> all the prices are crazy awl one eight one two the price on this is actually mental guys okay nice clean interior now let me just quickly just show you close it or just just, just Got my skin into that. But she, that's does, okay. she doesn't, doesn't want to leave you. Me. She doesn't want to leave. She's I'm like, keep me, keep me. Keep me. Keep me. <laughs> Push this down, open it up, and close it without slamming your fingers onto the side. Oh. Uh, and there you go, nice sweet cross, adjustable as well. It is a vintage piece. Um, so you wear it as a belt bag too, since it's adjustable. Oh, I don't know. I'm not very. Mm, could you wear it as a belt bag? Maybe. Let me see. Now I'm like trying to get onto my body, guys. <laughs> I mean, I could. Yeah, you could. If you because uh, they're, they're both adjustable, so I wonder. If, yeah, I mean, you, you could probably make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, you could probably you could clip that way. Yeah, you, you can could definitely clip that. I would just wear it as a crossbody. I just like having variety with the things that yeah, I buy. Definitely for sure. Can I see this on you as well? Yes. So this is on um, the longest drop actually. So you can make this shorter. You can you can probably make this into a shoulder bag as well because the drop in this is actually the longest uh, it is right now. So if you push this up on both sides, you can definitely also probably wear this as a shoulder bag. This is very, very, very cute, actually. This is a nice, easy bag. It yeah. is vintage. It ha like this, everybody needs really like a cool. nice vintage bag in their collection that they can use and enjoy without having to worry Care about the free. first mark. Yeah. But the actual condition of the nylon is in really, really good condition. We have vintage Chanel. We have lots of different pieces. Yes, it's a yes. great multi-use bag. I love those. Those are usually yeah. my favorite bags. Does the price go up? Not yet. But it's beautiful. We're just waiting. And I and love the fact that it has leather trims too. Yeah, that's a bit yeah. that I found rare about it because yeah, usually you get full nylon, so you get yeah. that more durability with this because of the leather pipe, leather trims. And a phone will definitely fit it here. Oh, well. there's me. Ah, modeling. I'm walking in the bag. It's £335, which is $412 US dollars. For a Prada bag. For a Prada. Prada or Nada. Prada or Nada. And the classic black. There you go. Okay, so there's a request for black Chanel. 
behind we me. We have a lot of black. And a beige Chanel. Chanel. So should we go for the black first? Do you want to go for black? Someone's requesting the black. Oh, uh, well, yes. Or you want to go for beige? I want to go for black. I want to okay. go for this one. Right. We don't know which black sh Chanel, yeah. but we have a lot of black Chanel. So this. I'm going to go for this one because Ooh. talking about multi-use bags, I love the fact that just like this, it's your perfect clutch. It's a night bag. It's a great, great length. It's a beautiful uh, vintage lambskin. And as you guys know, the vintage lambskin is actually thicker than today's lambskin. So it scratches a lot less than the new lambskin. You don't really have a lot of, um, a lot of hairline scratches in the bag. You have one here, very, very minimal. The front of the bag is in beautiful condition. And the corners are also really, really, really good. There's very, very minimal signs is, of wear. If someone said, pick a bag, Sabrina, I'd pick this out of Vintage Chanel over a classic flap. Oh, I think me too. Because of the fact that you can wear it as a clutch. And I, I think, think, I think so too. Older, yeah. Like, but I, and I've always loved that. Like, every yeah. time I see a bag, I'm like, can I do this for the bag? Like, I feel that's like my go-to pose. Yeah. So I, I, I generally love that. And I like the fact that those chains are really hidden in this one when you have it closed. And then when you open it... Can I grab the skew from Of you? course. So... Up oh, right here. Up. Oh. There you go. Thank you. When you open it, you have oh, this big piece. compartment. It's got oh. a piece of Yeah. Sorry. No worries. Is it in this This zipper? is the code for the authentication. So hopefully there is... Oh. Uh, the serial code is 211626. So on the vintage serial codes, they were underneath the flaps. The flaps, yes. Yeah. So this one has... A beautiful burgundy interior with one zipper here. The serial code, as Sabrina was saying, is underneath the flap. And it's in that classic black red burgundy condition. Overall, it's in great vintage condition. You have just uh, the normal hairline scratches on the lamp on the inside. But the outside of this bag, it's in stunning condition. This measures, can I pass the measuring tape? And it's also a push lock closure. So very, very easy to get in and out. And... I just, I personally love these. And I'll give you um, the drop of the chain as well and show you it's the different ways that you can wear it. So this one measures about 10 inches in length. And when you take the chain out, let me close this. It's definitely more of a shoulder bag, but I've, I've talked about this so many ways where when the bag has this opening here, you can put whatever chain you want to put through it, clip the chain to each other, and make it a crossbody. But I feel like for the size of this, this is great as a shoulder bag because it's very, very elegant. And just, I would personally, the most that I would wear this bag is probably just as a handheld clutch because I just find that so elegant. And if you wanted to do a crossbody, you can probably tuck the chain just a little bit out. So you have a little bit of a chain here, put a different chain through the back, and then have crossbody with that nice little dangling on the front. Like this is just, different but still gives you the classic chanel vibes it'll fit your essentials it'll fit your phone it won't fit as much as the classic flap because it is narrower but it expands quite well as well so great option if you guys are looking for a black flat back without it being a classic chanel bag i hate to break it to you but Why? we don't leave the skew on it so we're gonna have to come back on the price that means it's mine yeah. that, that, that's the greatest way of saying she's giving me a bag congratulations so, thank you sabrina on back. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna open up. Well, I'm gonna go for this beige one. Do, we, do you know the skew on this beige one? Yes. So I'm gonna go for this beige one because I saw the request, and then we'll go back to that black one. So stay tuned for the price of that. Now, the pochette, the timeless pochette for me is incredible. Now, Chanel introduced several models in this particular style. Uh, one being the Chanel medallion, which you love. And we also have the Chanel GST. So the Chanel GST was slight, and PST, so it became slightly taller and taller, like the team members, yeah. which we have. Now this is in a beige caviar. Now this color is really rare to come by. So beige caviar is in certain caviar, like colors. There's the apricot, there's the like the milk tea version. And so this is like the milk tea caviar. Now this is probably the only real pochette style Chanel has ever done. So it doesn't go over as a cross, but it can be worn as an elegant pochette style, which I absolutely love. Um, it is caviar. So those of you who love the grained caviar and it even features that pack po back pocket again, which you see on the PST GST classic flaps. Um, and it has that 24 karat gold gilding hardware. But you can make that crossbody, Sabrina. You can. By yes, you, you can totally make that crossbody. Oh, what a smart lady yes. you are. I just like crossbody <laughs> bags. So I always try to make everything crossbody in if my life. If you did want to add a crossbody strap, you could just simply add two straps yeah. here. Because it does have the hook and you can wear it as a cross. So all you've got to do, guys, is be really smart. 
with that. And just message me and I'll send you a bunch of straps. Yeah, because <laughs> I love straps. So we has an authenticity card, so it's a, a 10 series, nice clean interior. Uh, and let me just check the zipper pocket because sometimes we forget to go inside those so you just know all the condition of all the pockets no hidden surprises inside that's also nice and clean just to show you guys so you can see nice and clean in there and let me just quickly show you the corners corners are really good i'd say this is very a uh, good condition yes but that's really that's very good condition for this piece and it's really just elegant so the part okay was not expecting that price. <laughs> this is one thousand eight hundred pounds, which is two thousand two hundred and fourteen US dollars. I promise you, you can do your research. This should be around two thousand four hundred pounds. So you are getting a savings plus we're covering the customs, and that adds up so fast. Yeah, customs. that easily yeah. is twenty percent more that you could be paying if you're outside yeah. in the world. So tap on that, guys, and uh, it is just incredible. Oh, Nilsa, have you found the skew of the bag for us? And Anna will show you the. A 10 inch black classic flat because she needs to get back to work. <laughs> Where is a 10 inch classic flat? Um, is there one here? Do I see one? It's okay. The only classic flat we have is this one. Is it the black one? A uh, 10 inch black classic flat. 10 inch. I don't think we have oh, one, Anna, in the show. Don't think so either. If you see it, let us know what direction. What's next to it? What's next to the bag that you want to see? And it does have a card as well. This piece also has the authenticity card too. Yes. No Cartier in today's show now. But Isabel just took her earrings off so you could sit with the show, frankly. That would get, that would be a no. <laughs> By the way, you should put them back on just in case you get them. You guys are showing them, we have this Malachi bag in our house. So, because since I was saying that I love straps so much. It's a 10 series, the Chanel up the top. So if you tap on the icon above, you can see the full serial code, all extra images as well. And now we have a couple of wallets that we can show as well. And uh, we do have a pink Chanel. We actually do. It's, it's somewhere in here and there's a pink Chanel. So I want to show you guys this because as I'm always telling you how to make uh, bags crossbody. This strap is extremely hard to get. I was on the wait list for this strap for about a year and a half and I finally got my hands on one. So trust me when I tell you these are literally impossible to get. So it comes full set with that beautiful orange box. And these are just super iconic. It comes with a dust bag as well, so it really is a full set. This is the Kelly pocket strap. If you guys know anything about um, Kelly pocket straps, you'll know that these did are- Did you add this into the show? Yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> because they are impossible to get. And this is in the two-tone red. So you have a darker, uh, deeper, shade of red on the swift and this these are like the really nice thing this is probably around two inches in length and width sorry and then you have in epson a brighter uh, red i believe that's rouge core not a hundred percent this is rouge core yeah, right what's is. this one or i think rouge vif maybe with it it could be i think it looks yeah this is definitely rouge core you're probably with rouge vif and it's in the in the gold hardware guys these are one of the best straps these are like gold dust these I, I, I've been collecting a mess for about 10 years and it took me close to a year and a half to get my hands on one of these. Like, they, And you don't see them on the retail market very often yeah. because they're just impossible to get. And in red, which will match literally every color. Red, match red and black. If you have a vintage any penny. Day, any, any color. Because yeah. I, I, I did a, I have a black and camel like, combination. Like I, I would put this on black, I would put this on pink, on yellows, like blues, like any color. Yeah. You can just color block it. They sit about here, and then you have this little pocket where you can put your headphones, you can put... You don't have to put anything, because it's just so pretty. Like, like, like that's a bit... Because I always have a card out, and that's a bit you can your, have your card in that you need to use well. Yeah. Yeah. And do, then, you, do you get ID'd? I still get ID'd, yeah. Do you? <coughs> well, it's by <laughs> law. Not because I look young. It's just by <laughs> law. Anybody in the US gets ID'd. Oh, right, we don't get well, ID'd. Well, my dad doesn't get ID'd, yeah. but like, he's in the <laughs> 70s, so I feel like, why would he get ID'd? But this, you don't have to just put on a mask bag. You can literally put this on all sorts of bags. The clasp on these are actually like, they're a really, really good size. They'll even fit in on a mini Kelly. And the mini Kelly glass is miniature. So you can put this on you pretty much. mini Kelly as well. Yes, yes. I, oh, I bought this yeah. for the mini Kelly. You can put this in all sorts of bags. I've seen actually people wear this as belts where they just literally clip it on here. This, it's a little bit too big for me, but you've seen people wear these literally just as belt or they'll mm -hmm. clip it and they'll wear them by themselves because yeah. they're so iconic and so good to get. Like. And this, this I love the plastic. type of color that you can add to it. It has plastic on. Like this is literally like like new. And the price on this is three thousand. It, it is an unknown piece. Yeah, it's little. It's 
It has plastic. I love plastic on pizzas. I don't know why, but I generally. I just don't plastic. take plastic off my. Stuff. I don't take it off. Do you take plastic off your. I mean, no, I, I don't take it on anything. I have okay. that little like fendigraphy, and it has like plastic on the little at the bottom. Yeah. And I just lost the last plastic. What about are you wearing today? The little fendi one. It's a plastic fendigraphy. Stuff. No, it just fell like two weeks ago. Uh. The last letter fell off the F. Like, no more plastic. <laughs> no more plastic. <laughs> but this one is three thousand two hundred pounds, which is three thousand nine hundred and thirty-six. Guys, these, trust me when I tell you, are worth it. They're impossible to get, and every year they go up in price. So if you guys can get your hands on one, snack them. Get your hands on yeah. one. You know where to go now. Because they are amazing. So, let's go to this red bag, which you cannot see. Um, you don't get asked for ID because you don't drink. Oh, who said that? Isabel Hubs. <laughs> <laughs> I got carded at a rooftop in New York, just so you know. <laughs> she got ID. Did you know? Yes. She's like gonna be like, we're gonna have to get someone to give, get I make you get your IDs just so you can use that pocket strap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, for me, this is like the star piece of the day today because it is a Mademoiselle flat bag. Now, if you know, you know. If you don't, you should know that this if you bag. Don't, you're about to. Learn. You're about to find out exactly. <laughs> this is very, very rare to come by. So the vertical Mademoiselle classic flat is a discontinued model. So it has the classic quilting, not the classic quilting, but the vertical design to the front. It has this incredible thick uh, CC clasp, which is no longer made with this thickness. So it's about the same, but now you can, uh, you can see literally the thickness of this clasp is absolutely incredible. Plus the color. It is in an incredible caveat. I'm going to say the word incredible probably about 10 times, just, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> this is in an incredible colour, but also in caviar leather. So, again, it's hard enough getting this in black. So, to have it in burgundy, caviar, 24 karat gold gilded that hardware, honestly, it, this is a real gem. A collector's piece for sure. Now, the condition of this is rated as probably very good, nowhere to the corners. I'm just going to show you here as well. Again, nowhere to the corners. It's such a good condition. And the 24 karat gold gilding. Look at that. Like, I'm going to flip the screen for this. It is cab. It it's, is. it's amazing. Like, she's so vintage at the top. Like, look at that, guys. That's like a 9 out of 10, Sabrina. That's it a is. really good it condition. It is really excellent. Like, I'm very picky with condition. That's in really, really good condition. Um, so, let me quickly just show you the tarnish. No tarnish to the gold hardware. And let's take you inside. Look at that, guys. It is just stunning. Oh, just to quickly see what it's like. By the way, I saw somebody inside. asking if we have Fendi. There is no Fendi on this show. Because I took it all yeah, and I'm on. taking it to the United States for my ah, show. <laughs> Chanel Caviar Soul. Congrats. So let me just show you for those caviar lovers. Inside, it's nice and clean. We're not lying. And let me just quickly show you what it comes with. This comes with the authenticity card. Um, Let's see. Oh, thank it? you, Cara. She said I've learned so much. This is definitely rare. C come on, I show. C I love that. Thank <laughs> you. I like it when people say they learn from me. I don't get that often. And a care booklet. Now, okay, what I, I learned from Winnie is inside the care. Have you ever read the inside the care booklet? Ah, uh, no. Well, you're just about to read. <laughs> We're test your reading skills. We're about to read Chanel together. And see if you didn't really know. Read your ID. If you can't, then we'll. <laughs> <laughs> I've read the MS booklets. Does that count? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So inside the care booklets, you have like how to care for your handbags. Now this, I wish they still gave this because you can no longer get this, but just the booklet itself is really rare. Like we've had all these pieces in, which is really exciting to see. Um, so it tells you about the things that you need to make sure you keep away. So firstly, it tells you that the gilding on this is 24 karat gold gilding in that booklet. And it just feels so much different than the Can you put this on while I, yes. talk, while I read this? So, I'm not going to put you on the spot and make you read it. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, people. The metal part on. of your handbag, it says, is gilded with an alloy containing 24 karat gold, which is sometimes, sometimes, sometimes sensitive to sea air. So, don't take a Chanel bags to the sea. I don't take any leather bags to the sea. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I would take the pink Prada bag to the sea. I mean, <laughs> it's very specific. <laughs> don't take it to sea air, air, which is very strange. Don't put in air perfume. And... Um, your Chanel boutique can regild it. They no longer can regild it, unfortunately. The tanning methods used by Chanel keep the leather soft, but the surface remains alive. 
So avoid contact with water, grease, perfume, and makeup. So be very careful, obviously, when cleaning down your bags, you're not using something which has like chemicals in it because it can actually yes. ruin it. Um, and yeah, light colored handbags, don't wear it white it's and so beige. Cool. Don't wear it with like colors that you can't This is probably my favorite with. Chanel you have here. So very fun. I mean, just to read the booklet itself is just cute and fun to read. So are we ready for the price of this? I like this one. This is nice. And it's a nice size as well. And I feel like the vertical stripes give it more of a square look as well. And I love yeah. square Chanel bags. The price is incredible, guys. It's £5,995, which is US dollars It's £1,000 below retail, which is around, you know, $1,300, US dollars below retail. So it's a really great price. Again, so I'll price match if you can find this with the dust bag. I'll price match anything, guys, on the show today. If you can find it. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Go do your research. This, I promise, is... Paul, Google this. <laughs> <laughs> Start Googling this. Paul, go and find it. Build another website. We okay. found it. Google it right now. <laughs> so, wait. Does that mean if you find it somewhere else more expensive, you price match that? Uh, okay, if you find it somewhere more expensive, <laughs> guys, I'll price match it too. Like, the condition is incredible in this, guys. I promise you, it's really special. So I'm going to put back the care booklet and the authenticity card. This was a free series. Um, yeah, just elegant. This is, a, I'm going to show you it on me long, long as well. Sorry, I just want to spend a few more seconds on this because this really is a piece that we may not get again in. So I really, like this is my first time during owning Luxury Promise that we've actually had this bag in our store. So tap away, price includes the customs as well. Can I pick one? Pick a bag. Rachel's going to do her pick. Vanity case, it's incredible. The vanity case. Oh, the burgundy vanity it's case. It's so cool. Okay. She wants to do the burgundy vanity case. The burgundy vanity case. Oh, and then different colours, right? I mean, like, again, this, this one's a little bit darker. This is, yeah, that yeah. is darker. This one is, has more red. This one has a little bit more of that burgundy in it. Cool. Um, Sammy's asking. She's got a 2022 bag which has creasing in it. Um, so, Sammy, the best thing to do when getting creasing in your bag is to stuff it. Yeah. So, stuff it for a bit, put some old t-shirts -shirt, t in, old pants in, whatever you need to stuff the bag. So, you can see we stuff the bag with, um, is it lambskin? So, if we stuff the bag with just the, you know, not overstuff, but to just push out the creasing. So, you'll see when it's fully stuffed because it will take the crease out for that moment. The other thing that you can do is if you do have a vintage bag... Um, taking the cloth and massaging the leather in, it will give it that it's technique you like, as yeah. to um, how you, you know, shaping it. So yeah. I usually, when I get my, a crease, I do like try to massage it in to like rub out the crease. So um, Sabrina, if possible, talk us through how you got to the idea to start LP. If I did that, you might not ever get off the shirt. You might be like, she'll oh, gone. Start, she'll starve me to death. <laughs> she will literally starve me what, to death. I, shall, I will sub, I will <laughs> definitely do a show maybe on my, like, if you guys want, if you guys want me to, let me know. I will do a show on how I started Luxury Promise. But I can tell you in two seconds how I got into Luxury Promise. Yes. I just messaged her and I was like, hey, Sabrina, do you want to hire me? <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 it. Okay, so I'm a big believer in like, everything happens for a reason. You oh, like, you work know. hard and things turn out. Sometimes you think, yeah. why did that happen to me? And you're like, it's really unfair. That's just life. And then sometimes things turning your life way that should have happened. So one day I was like, in the, well, I was already in the US, I went on a holiday. I was like, this is the place that I want to set up my next business. I want to be in the US. And like, I'm thinking, who can we have? Literally, I was in my living room walking around like, I need someone for the US. I need the, per I need the person who's going to run the US, someone who really understands it, who has that passion. And I'm not lying. I get this message <laughs> from your truly. Literally, a, it pops up on my screen. I'm, I'm, it was in my head. I'm not. It's not I'm not make this story up. Yeah. I see this message from Isabel. We've spoken over like you've sold a few pieces. Yeah, with I sold us. them on my bags over. Yeah, and we've spoken like a few times, but not in deep conversation. Correct, yeah. And she was like, "If you ever look, what was your what was your message?" I said, "If you're ever looking to have somebody in the US, please consider me." And then I think I called you 10 seconds later. She goes, can I call you? And I'm like, oh gosh, did I get in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> and, then I was really well. and then I was literally in my office. Oh, like, I don't even know what I was doing in the office. Uh, Paul was cooking dinner for a trip. Like, my husband and my son. And I literally walked out of the office. And I was like, Paul, I think I got a job. And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I think I just got a job. <laughs> and, yeah. that, and that's how it was. 
Yeah. Yeah, and there she was, and I was like, so how do you feel about running the US? She was like, yeah. So I was like, so first we're going to do shows, and you're going to see more to come from Isabel. So yes. this is just the beginning. Yeah, and I love how everybody's asking if there's any Fendi. And any Fendi. Know, <laughs> that I've stolen it all from here. I was like, no, this is going to the US, uh, this is going to the US. And yes, she <laughs> is, she's no Fendi know. today, but there will be Fendi in yes. her show. Uh, Sabrina, when are you giving away ooh, a vintage Chanel from the interview? Uh, oh gosh, I need to actually do that. The vintage <laughs> Chanel from the interview? Uh, I need to actually do that as well. Uh, so thank you for reminding me, Abby. And <laughs> next <laughs> Tony, definitely Canada's coming up, yeah. so... We already have um, Kristen from Canada, and that's it. I will talk more about later. Because, yes, because you know. now I'm holding this beautiful <laughs> bag that we haven't even talked about. So this is a beautiful, oh. like a, a dark, deep, burgundy uh, vanity bag from Cartier. Ah, from Cartier. I'm thinking Cartier already. From Chanel. Comes with a strap, so you can wear this over the shoulder. I, I, I just go crossbody, but you can wear this over the shoulder as well. Remember, guys, I am a very petite human, so most people, this will probably sit around here. And the condition on this one, it does have a little bit of wear on the strap. It has minor, minor, minor signs of rubbing um, on this, this edge, but it's minimal. There's no signs of tarnish on the actual gold hardware. The body of the back, the front is in great condition. I love the CC on it. I love the CC. This zipper has slight tarnishing, but very, very minor. I love the fact that you have this big medallion on the front. Overall, the, bot, the, the body's in great shape. You have minor scuffs in different places, but tiny. Like one, When I point them out, by the way, it's like here. So it's literally very, 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 very small. And when you open this back, we're gonna open it together. For the first time, because I haven't seen this one, actually. Sometimes I feel, I feel like the lines we say are like so, like songs. What do you mean? Like for the first time. For the first time together. <laughs> so you have one big, big compartment in this. I mean, this, this is a good size bag, guys. You have a zipper on both sides, which let me check to make sure the condition is good. It comes with the card. This oh. is a series one. That's a one, right? Yeah. Yeah, one. But series one. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I don't have my glasses, guys. I can't see very well. And on the second zipper, also in great condition. So on the inside, actually, I would I would write this an eight out of ten in the interior because there's literally very minimal. Look at that. There's only like, yeah. There's no like press scratches or anything scratches. like that. Yeah. So. Oh, the main condition, the condition I would say is a slight tarnish on this zipper, a little bit of rubbing on the top handle, but that really is about it. And this is rare. Yeah. Like, I've never seen this, ever. I would probably have this display in my closet, too. Like This just... is very special. Yeah. Guys, everyone's reminded me, I do actually to get back about the giveaway, which I never, they should have given me a set date to do it, because then I would have done it by. So I will do that tonight. I will announce the winner of the giveaway. Oh, this wow! Is really pretty. Here, try this one. This okay, is, it's gonna pop more in your outfit. Should, actually, like, the vanity bag is yeah, actually probably one of the first bags designed for women to travel with because back in the day when people it's used so to travel cool. by train and boat, they used to put all their belongings and their perfumes and their makeup in a oh, vanity I really bag. Like that. So the vanity bag, you know, you'll see Chanel has reintroduced the vanity bag. Uh, as in like a little crossbody, so I think all barons are actually bringing vanity bags yeah. because they're really you all has a vanity, Louboutin has a vanity, even Fendi has a vanity now. So this is really again very rare because of that burgundy, the caviar, that big CC detail, and the condition is incredible. It looks really wow, the price is great. It's three thousand two hundred pounds, which is three thousand nine hundred thirty-six US dollars. Includes customs, and that's a big size. And again, that's a good size Chanel bag, like a really good. If you can find it, we'll price match it. <laughs> I like this. I, I yeah. like this. Yeah. We're doing a price match show today. Yeah, you, know, you know everybody's like Googling nonstop right now. Like, well, how do I find this bag? How do I find this bag? I promise, guys, if you find it, price match it. I'll price match it. In this condition, by the way. It has yes. to be with the card. Yeah, with the card in this condition. Because this is in a great, great, great condition. So I am going to go. Let's do a, you want to do a wallet? People were asking if we had some wallets. Let's do a wallet then. Come with the box, or yes, that's what the box. Both okay. come with the box and dust bag. So, we have a cute little wallet that comes with this box and it is Prada. Now, uh, the Prada uh, wallet is a great piece because it's Satiana leather. Oh, she found a Fendi. God, Amado scared me. Sorry, <laughs> Amado, who is the guy behind all our content, just came like popping underneath. I thought, did you not finish work? Yeah. Oh, you want to go out with these guys tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Amado. Say hi. This is Amado. Hi, how By are you? By the way, all? he's never usually here at 8 p.m. at night. <laughs> and he just popped out and he scared me because I was like, who's this guy trying to get in? But he's, he's, a, he's a fairly tall guy, by the way. Yeah, and he, you know, he wants to take the guys out. Should we tell, everyone, should we tell everybody our story about Amado, the hero? 
Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna tell you a story. So, if you guys know, our store is, we opened up so that you didn't have by appointment. Now, one of the reasons why we've got back to by appointment, because unfortunately, um, as we were in the back of the store, we decided to open our door. So, this is our store, we'll just quickly show you. So, we have the store, and there you go. There's, There's our security, security guards. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why we have today. security, so we'll tell you, so today's a day full of stories. So, the, I, my, the school called me up and said, you got to go home, your son's not feeling well. So I was like, okay, I'm going, I left. And uh, Grace, was, Grace was on the call, she's like, I'll call you when I, uh, everyone's like, are you single? Oh, is Amado single? <laughs> he is single. Amado. <laughs> Amado, <laughs> so, uh, you're going to really want to know if he's single now when I finish the story. <laughs> he is single. You're not single. Oh, he's not? Oh, well, 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 now we know he's not he's single. Apparently, right? he's not single. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we, so anyway, can, I want to continue the story. It, it's, it's not. It's actually They're not still a good asking. Story. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we were walking. We, we, we were all in the back. So behind this wall, that's where we all operate. And we hear, unfortunately, a big scream. We're like, oh my god, what the hell has happened? Somebody has come in, grabbed bags off the shelf, pushed one of the guys to the corner, and ran out with the bags. Amado runs out. Winnie, Chase them down. Winnie, Amado and Winnie run out. They're horrified because obviously they can see one of our team members has got hurt, which is not a nice experience, obviously, for anybody in the team. So they run behind the guy, which they shouldn't have done, but Amado and Winnie, Amado and Winnie was like, stop, thief, thief. They ran down the road. They, Amado managed to get the girl and grabbed the Chanel bags from her. So it could have been a complete disaster. She, he saved the bags. I don't think anybody knew how fast Amada could run. We didn't run. know Amada could run. Uh, yeah, forget about running fast. <laughs> Nobody knew he could run. <laughs> and well, the only way we knew that Amado was in is because um, Winnie when, when was like, oh, Amado's in because Amado, you know, he's a cool, casual guy. She's like, oh, Amado is in. Because we saw him shoot past because he got so angry that someone had been like pushed to the ground. Anyway, so we got the bags back. So he's Amado a. Got Amado back. is. The hero. You know, the hero. There you go. You yeah. got the story. Wait, wow. Sorry, got, got <laughs> distracted by the story uh, behind this bag. So yeah, he's a fast runner. He is a fast runner, uh, yeah. So yeah. But now I told him I want to I race him. Like, he won't race me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> so fast. I will go back to the Prada bag. Sorry, I got distracted by stories today. We do a story session. So this is a Safiana leather. So when it comes to um, Safiana leather, it's more for grained leather. And uh, if he's ever single again, she'll be waiting patiently. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. We'll let you know. So this is what you can see. It's a nice grained caviar, not grained Safiana leather, which is a very durable leather. It's gold, got gold hardware, and um, you can see it's an all-round zipper pocket. If I can, it's a bit. Is it a stiff zipper or is it just me? Let me see. Oh, it's a little bit stiff actually opening. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. So actually it's never been used. That's probably why it's a bit stiffer. It has the card inside. It has the zipper pocket here as well, which is really nice. Um, so you can see that the inside is nice and clean. It comes with uh, its card, its box. It's blue. It's like a blue sapphire blue with gold hardware. Now this is really nice because you can fit your phone inside. It can fit the iPhone 13. So you can wear it as a small little clutch. Or you can have it to have it as a nice little organizer for all your things, cards, coins. That's a lot. And it has gold hardware. And the duties are, uh, is included. The shipping isn't. So uh, the shipping is £10 UK, £15 Europe, and £35 for the rest of the world. But duties is included. And Shell, we will get back to you. If you want to also send us a message over at Instagram, uh, which is at Luxury Promise, then we can go through those pictures and give you a quote. So this is £280, which is US dollars for an unused Prada Safiana wallet. You guys, I might have spoken to you soon. There is literally one Fendi piece here, okay. which is actually another wallet. And this also comes in box, so full set. And it's also... A zipper wallet, and this is very, very subtle Fendi. So on this, and this is navy. First of all, this part on the top, it does have the Fendi Suka print, so you guys can't see. It's a mixture of two tones in blue, very, very dark, very subtle. And at the bottom, you just have an an embossed leather. So this this material is extremely durable. It's a quarter canvas, which personally for wallets, I I love quarter canvas because when I'm putting them inside the bags and the zipper, I don't want anything scratching them. 
So very, very sorry. This is in like new condition. I don't think this has ever been worn, has it? Oh, it's still got the tag on. Yeah, I don't think this has ever been worn. It still has even the tag on. And on the inside, it comes with its card. Uh, this has definitely never been worn because you have uh, literally all the card dividers in there as well. You have, if anybody has this many credit cards, I'd be concerned because this has a lot of credit cards. <laughs> Watch Paul be like, you have that many credit cards. <laughs> it has one, two, three, four, five, six. It probably has around tw 20 20. for 12 credit card compartments. <laughs> you have a zipper pocket. It's a sippy style wallet, so lots of lots and lots of compartments for this one, and it's just it's in great condition actually, and no signs of wear at all in this one for a very subtle Fendi wallet. The length of this because these are actually yeah, okay. this is a great piece. It's yeah, this is a great. This is a, it can fit your phone in as well. This could definitely fit your phone in there as well if you want to use it as your day to day. So this is seven inches, so it's a good size. It's a good size wallet. Yes. And, and it comes with a box, and I think the price box. Yes, the, the price has not come up yet for the price, but it still has a tag on the box and the dust, dust bag. bag. Yeah, really, really, really good condition for this one. And a beautiful dark blue. It is. Uh, a few questions. If you want to book an appointment, uh, we don't have the booking system in, but weekends is by you can just walk in yes. as normal, so you don't need to book. And unfortunately, Sade is no longer working with us, but um, any of the other teams are here to help you. So if you've got any selling requests, then please send us a message on Instagram or yeah, to our this. info at luxurypromise.com. We're gonna show you the, we actually oh. have three wallets. We do. All very similar. Oh, and all blue. in the blue family, all in the sippy family. Oh my God, the price of this wallet is mad for the so Fendi. So the Fendi guys, if you want a wallet, Grab the Fendi. It's, two, it's 221 USD, which is 180 pounds. And it's honestly in great condition. Very, very durable coated canvas. Comes with the box. And they're all about the same size. The Fendi might be just slightly, slightly wider, but very, very, very little. This is the one that Sabrina showed before, which is in the class of Safiano leather from Prada. And then we also have this, which is in a smooth, crackled blue leather. Um, I'm guessing it's the same as the other one with the gold Prada logo. Yeah, it's got the goat, it's a goat skin. Goat skin, yes. And with a clean beige interior, it has one tiny little, okay, hold this. Tiny, tiny, tiny well. little mark, right? I don't know if you guys can see it, right here. But other than that, it's it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. And you can kind of see like that crackling on that smooth leather. All in navy, all very, very similar. Lots but, of navy today. Yeah, but they all have like a different style. So. I would say the blue. Yeah, so this is probably the most uh, like casual one. This to me probably be the most like classic, and this would be a, I would call it like the little rocker one, just because it has a little like crackling on the layer, like that. Cool. It's got a nice shine to it, yeah. which is what I love, and yeah. it's got that already distressed calf gray, like Correct. calf skin leather, which is what I love. Yeah, and the, the gold hardware. Oh, this is silver hardware for the silver girl. And the lovers. products are both. All and I'd say this is a unisex piece as well. That's unisex for sure. But I feel like all pieces in these days are, yeah. are unisex. F Fendi does a really good job at creating unisex wallet. The last scarf that I bought from Fendi was in the men's section. Yeah. Like, I ignore men and women. It's all unisex. Yeah. Like, if you like it, rock it. Why not? But these are the... I think these are actually the only three wallets we have. Yeah, the show. And we have the price. And the other ones coming as well. So, are we ready? So the price for the product for this one is 280 pounds, which is 344 yeah. USD. So now you have all the three ones that we have, so you guys can pick your favorites. There you go, so it's 280 yes. pounds, which is 344 US dollars. And thank you, Dipti. Okay, so, here. That's your Fendi box. That's my little Fendi. The Let's one put little Fendi. Back here. Okay, I'm gonna go for a classic bag, which is a Goyard bag. Now, Goyard is something we don't get in often. If you are looking for a great everyday tote bag, then the PM is the bag for you. Yes, now, that's a classic. Goyard, you just can't walk in and get. The St. Louis tote, you just can't walk in and get, pretty much. And uh, you only get, like, kind of like Hermes, you get like a quota, so you're only allowed like is it one or two bags a year? Like it's limited amounts I think that you, it's can two. you can get. But don't call me on that. Now, this piece is actually in really good condition on the exterior. So I'm just gonna walk to the corners, show you the corners of this. So the corners on this is really nice and clean. It's a small model, um, so you can see inside. Now, the black is a really nice, I love the, the color of this because it has black, beige, and white as well. And if you didn't know, Goyard do use like an authentication tip is that Goyard uses hand printed stripes. 
So you look at that one authenticating the bag, uh, nice clean top handles, but just to point out, this does have a like a, a coffee stain inside or a drink stain inside. But to be honest, um, this you could wear with like a bag insert, insert if you're worried about the cleanliness, which I typically really recommend with any big tote bag, like getting a bag organizer inside is really key to keep your stuff organized and not spilling and marking it like it has here. But again, this is a really great everyday bag. You can wear it on the shoulders. And this one doesn't come with a little uh, pouch. pouch. Yeah. But so, the price on this kind of... Yeah. So the pouch like... is missing on this, but the price point on this will be incredible. Yeah. The strap is strong on this. It is very strong. Yes. yes. I'm just going to check the strap is very, very, very strong on these. Thank you already, please. Oh, and this is a, the PM size, which is, uh, to me, my favorite size. This is in their classic color. This will match pretty much everything because you have the black, you have the browns, you have literally everything. Very, very sorting. Very lightweight. These yeah. are actually, I would say the, the straps are probably a little bit stronger than the Louis Vuitton bags, but it's just so light, like lightweight. So, guys, so I am going to... Um, so I am going for the Goyard bag. Sorry, this God, this is like, I don't know why we've gone wonky, guys. Corners <laughs> on this is good. It's 795. Stain is inside. But I am going to do a price slash on this, guys. I am going to be So it begins. Price. The price slash on this is, on this piece, there is going to be a price slash because I've just, obviously the pouch is missing and the uh, inside has marks. So I just want to make sure we've priced this Corners fairly. are great, by the way. So T, if you've got a quote, can you just send us a DM to Luxury Promise? Um on our Instagram and just screenshot your quote and I'll organize a pickup as well. Um, but Dipti, not, we're not on the phone as much as we need to be. So it's easy to send the quote directly to our, to our Instagram with a screenshot and we'll help you with it. So, so what I'm is ready? the price slash? Oh, the new Here price it comes. And the corners is... are in great condition for this okay. one. Okay. So, so we'll see. I don't know the price slash. We, it it was price seven, nine, someone's going to have to grab this. This is going to be my special bag for the day. Mm. It's 595 pounds. 595 pounds? Yes. It has a mark in it, but you know, 595 pounds. What's that in USD? In USD, that's probably about 795 USD. I'm still so really bad with that conversions. Very, very bad with that conversions. 731. 731 pounds. Yes. Dollars. Dollars. For the European and the black. These are on what, $1,500 brand new? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a great, 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 great price actually. In the classic colors. So to purchase, um, you see a little thumbnail that just pop up, you click on that, and then you have more detailed pictures, and you can buy just like you're buying on a regular website. The shipping for the US is 35 pounds, which is fifty dollars. Around fifty US dollars. But guys, we play, we cover all your duties and all the taxes from importing and exporting from one place to the other. So I mean again for a Goyard bag, guys. For a Goyard bag, guys, yeah. Come on, come on. The marks on the inside. Here. It's a coffee stain that's on the inside at the bottom. I don't know if you could have it cleaned out, but. You might be able to. Coffee actually does come out. There's a coffee and some pen mark inside. Yeah. Like, so that has all been factored in. Just like, just a bag insert inside. You won't see it with a bag insert. Or just a dust bag. Like just yeah. using an old dust bag to put inside if you're but, like really bothered. But you were also saying like, sometimes it's nice to have that one bag that you can really just wear and enjoy without having to worry about like, did I stay in? Did I do this? It's your rating, am I getting this guys for that price this is a really good bag for that where you can just genuinely don't say oh, i don't give you good deals guys yeah, like, that one for is. that price put an answer you'll never see it or just let the bag continue living and creating like more stories with you it does so, no smell to it nadia no smell no i'm gonna smell back hey cat sassy <laughs> there's no back there's no, no smell I, to I'm it i'm a bag sniffer and yeah there's no smell <laughs> yes oh, we can bring oh i am you look at my video we can bring it to the u.s is welcome bring it to the u.s <laughs> Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go for this one. Because I feel like both of these are actually very yeah. hard to get. So we have that Goyard, and we also have that classic, extremely hard to get, pochette from Louis Vuitton. So this one, one is, first of all, oh, made yeah, in France. It's gone. It's Which so, one that we are? Yes. I mean, you, somebody has I mean, to if that, that wasn't going to sell, I was going to be like, oh my God, what's happening? The world has gone mad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, girls, closet. And hey, Cat Sassy and everybody. Yeah. So. This one is made in France. This one is overall in amazing, amazing condition. You usually see a little bit of rubbing in the corners. This one has no rubbing in the corners at all. 
made in France, first of all, that is huge. You do have the patina on the strap, but the patina is perfectly even all throughout. I don't see any watermark or spots um, on it, actually. It has darkened, it has that caramel color, but that's normal for the for the vachetta leather. I personally love that look. When I get my new Louis Vuitton ones, I'm constantly rubbing them because I want them to get dark. Um, there is um, minimal, minimal, minimal tarnish on the back zipper, literally minimal. If you guys don't like any tarnish, Louis Vuitton replaces all your zipper, Louis Vuitton replaces all the vachetta as well. So you can really transform this into a brand new one. And let me open it for you guys. The inside of this bag is extremely, extremely clean. I don't see any spots or marks uh, to pinpoint at all. This bag is one of the most sought after bags from Louis Vuitton, very impossible to get. Every year, these take a huge price increase. And they're so popular because you can use them for so many different ways. You can use this as a travel pouch um, instead of a bigger bag. You can use this as an actual bag itself. You can take the strap off, wear a crossbody. You can leave the strap on, put a nice chain on it, and wear a crossbody. Put the Kelly strap on it and make it really, really cool. So, again, a hard to get bag. This isn't the vintage one. This is just something that I feel like any handbag Louis Vuitton lover should have in their closet. But, like, don't you think this is just like an essential? It's a classic. It's a iconic yeah. it's it pieces and they're so hard piece. to get they're literally especially the ones made in france because now they make them in the u.s and for, um, spain too the made in front ones really are like a true vintage collector in, Ubrique, they made. in where in Ubrique. amado's talking guys <laughs> still apparently not single <laughs> uh, the vintage you know you didn't get it. that's true yeah i know yeah, there's a couple of bags that I'm like, why didn't I get this bag? And this, with them, I've seen people stop the price, guys, is mad. So, so the, the price of this is 550 pounds, which is 676 USD. And again, we'll price back. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is going to go at something. Because this, like, you guys just can't walk into a store and get these. Like, yeah. these are so hard to get. And this is in a guys, beautiful condition. Guys, I think condition. two people have got the Goyard, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to have to look at who checked out with that first. I'm so, so sorry for some reason. I don't know why. It, if you check out identical timing. Yeah. It's, it does it. it I'm really sorry. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. We can't change it for some reason. I don't know how that happens. Yeah. Like, sh we need to speak to Shopify because, sorry guys, we will give one of you guys, whoever is being cancelled, a £50 credit note. To use on your next purchase so i'm sorry we just need to check out who checked out that's this. a cool one what is this that's Maybe a cool one um up to you and i think okay i think i should leave that to you okay i'm gonna go for well, someone wants the pink chanel where's this pink chanel find it you should okay. okay all right and i think <laughs> it's this go. one and i might be totally be wrong but i think it's this one am i wrong is it Okay, not She's wrong. Like, well, not then wrong. you got to do. You got to talk about it. Whoever <laughs> holds the box got to talk about it. <laughs> I'll hold, there so, you go. I'll hold full the set in oh, box. I'll do the, I'll help you. And it is oh. a beautiful, beautiful oh pink Ooh, wallet. It's a Chanel unchained. trendy one. Trendy. Yes, wallet unchained. It has the dust back inside as well. So this is pretty close to full set. It smells fresh. It does smell fresh. There's, there's something about like smelling a bag that really just relaxes me. It's really weird. Yeah, like, that's what we get on. <laughs> It is, but it's just, it smells good. I don't know what it is. And you have, this, does this have plastic on? Yeah. Yeah, so you have plastic on here. So there's literally zero she's scratches. She's getting it all today. She's got the nice smell, the plastic on it. This is like <laughs> Disneyland for me. Like, oh. But anyway, focus, focus. So you have in this beautiful pink lamp skin. And this is a champagne gold hardware. So it's a very soft and beautiful gold. Very easy to match with silver. Very easy to match with gold. That's the beauty of that champagne gold. Literally no signs of wear on the front. Not no darkening or anything on the back. The core, I mean, this is pristine. This is pretty good. Like, you have one tiny, tiny I mean, yeah, we both saw the little there. Do you guys can does that show? I mean, literally, there. That is the only thing that I can point on this out. This would be one of like the, the biggest thing that I would see the wear, and that has plastic, so that's nowhere on that. When you, oh, this is really pretty, and I'm not even like a Ooh. huge pink person. This is like really, really pretty. So you have the classic wallet and chain configuration where you have a little pocket in the front. You have the, is it six? Yeah, the six car holders in the back. You have a little zipper here. And you have another little pocket in there. Does this cup come with the card? I don't see a card in this one. Let's check the zipper. And then, as you guys know, the wallet and chain is extremely, no card on this one. Oh, it is. It's behind all this. I was like, no way this doesn't have a card. Uh, yeah. It's like way too much of a full set to not have a card. It's like Barbie pink. 
It's it's like a softer Barbie pink, I would say. Yeah, it's in between like bubble this gum. This would be like a Barbie pink. Yeah, bubble gum maybe. Yeah, like a bubble bubble gum is a good one. And yeah. this is a series twenty nine. Comes with a card, and as you guys know, the wand and chains are probably, for me at least, one of the most versatile bags from Chanel because these really you can, this is you can actually wear as a belt bag. There's ways that you can clip the chains very very easily. Wear it as a as a nice little belt bag, crossbody, as a clutch, over the shoulder, top handle. Like there's. So, Any sort of so shape that you, yeah. you want to wear, this will give you that. And it is just that. Like, the trending is, is so cool. Yeah. Like if, you were, if, I, if I was going to get a wall on chain, I would probably go for that trending because that extra little piece just makes it so, so special. And I really like this combination. The Louis Vuitton Pochette. Oh, uh, I mean, that has to go. Like, there's no way you have a made in France one for that price and not that. Yeah. Like, congrats. That's, I love those. I absolutely love this. And then for this one, I, I love the trendy and the wall on chain. I think that the trendy and the wall on chain is really, really cool. It just adds a little extra, yes. isn't it? Like, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my God. Let's price this up right now. What is the price of this? Shima, we're going to check for you guys in a bit. So, I, so I, I love these. I, hey, I really like this one. The price. The price of this is 2,400 pounds, which is 2,952 for a full set there's no extra taxes on this no import no duties it's just shipping and you just can't, you can't walk in and get it basically yeah. i mean in this color like come on the chanel trendy wallet on chain is discontinued right or i think it's discontinued and uh, to be honest it's the first one i've ever seen in person. yeah me too i've never like i've never i've seen the boy version and i've seen like the classic one I've never seen the trendy one like this oh, congrats emma on the pochette congrats emma it's really really cool but this is just i mean yeah that that alone is just worth it all and the trendy is trendy yeah it's very, says very it all trendy. in its name and i love the fact that it's a full set it's like you literally just guys i'm gonna go to the set. vintage version now but you guys want a pink <laughs> you want a pink you've now got vintage now this is the the timeless chanel flap now this is like the first edition of like the chanel boy bag now the chanel boy bag has come in and it's become made smaller uh do you have a price for the black chanel you showed earlier we don't no. at this minute of time the pink chanel's so i have oh, a feeling congrats. that's what i'm literally standing here holding the box and not putting it back so i was like that's gonna go it's so amazing congratulations. so i'm gonna go on to this which um maybe we'll pin the other chanel black one which is similar yeah, to it do you have this large black wallet on jeans Large black wallet on chain. There's so many bags that are really Sorry, she's got so many bags. Let me get the skew on this. The skew on this is. No. Oh, we have yes. entrepreneur certificates, but no <laughs> skews on anything. Do you see Chris? 0154985. <laughs> <laughs> Put that back. Put that back. 0154985. So it's been. No. Okay, guys, I can't show you this. <laughs> So, let's pick another bag. Since we're going for classics, I'm going to go for a classic beige. Now, again, vintage Chanel. Classic beige, small, a nine inch, in a really nice, clean condition. So, if you're a beige lover, you're going to absolutely love this piece. Now, this piece is, um, as you can see, beautiful, soft, buttery lambskin. It is... A classic now beige goes with absolutely everything, everything yeah. like it really does now obviously when it comes to vintage the certain like the beige classic flap for me is just iconic it's beautiful it's elegant now wearing it all with like white is how i would wear beige i personally wouldn't pair beige with dark colors just because of like color transfer so even with what i'm wearing now looks absolutely incredible now this is vintage so it is a short crossbody so it does just but sit for all the five one people out there if they were saying there are height it is the perfect let me see on you then okay let's see like it is because it is hey just we lose i like these bags high like i like it when these bags sit high it is the it is literally if you're five one it is the perfect crossbody height like i for i love the vintage length of the medium ones because it is perfect see sabrina look it's perfect and on like Sabrina, maybe not with like dark, dark denim, but I would totally wear the beige with darker colors because I love the fact that it just pops. It absolutely pops against all the dark colors. And as Sabrina was saying, that condition, you have a little bit of markings on the back, but not a lot of real, of real darkening on the leather at all, actually. 
They're still looking at the skew on the. Um, it's just so you lose. <laughs> I, I still haven't seen um, the price on the black one. They're still looking for it. But overall, that condition, you do have those little markings. There's not a lot of darkening on it. It's a perfect scent, length, cross body. Look. Look at this, Sabrina. This. It's perfect. If you're 5'1, this is like your length. This actually is, really. I told you, like, oh we're gosh. vintage ones, and I didn't know this until I started working. I'm like, why are all these bags fitting me better than mine? It's because it's shorter, and I'm 5'1. It literally is like the perfect length for I me. I know, this is incredible. Like, yeah. And I do wear the beige with the dark colors. And Nothing. beige, I mean, it does look, je, Louis, je suis Lou is here as well. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Um, so we should do a quick condition report on this. Yes. So I'll do a quick condition report on this so you guys can see. So yes. this is vintage. The corners on this is really nice and clean. I'd say that on, uh, I'll show you each corner. So again, nice corners to each side. Um, you can see here there are some slight like press marks from where the chain is sat. So that's completely normal on uh, vintage pieces that you can see. So you could do some like massaging techniques if that bothers you. For me, that doesn't really it, matter think, because yeah, it is. It's gonna happen on all Chanel bags, yeah. not just vintage ones. Like the leather, the lamp with the chain will eventually happen. 24 karat gold gilding, no tarnish to it. It's a double flap, so nice clean interior. Now, just quickly show you inside, it's nice and clean. There's some tiny small marks to the bottom. Again, that's normal. And does this come with an authenticity card? It doesn't, but it is a zero series. And again, this in this color is just I love perfect. That it's a series. So it's I'm zero. five foot four and it does just sit above the hip. But honestly, this is designed to be over the shoulders. Elegant, it's chic. Unless you're five one, it's perfect crossbody. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear it as a high cross, to be honest. I, I, I just wear it as whatever, however my hands need to be free. Uh, so. Um, again, nice clean corners. Everyone's happy just we lose here. So this is 4,800 pounds, which is 5,904 US dollars. And just we lose is also five foot one. Yes. It's a good size. Five foot one, one day. It's a good size. Yeah. It is. Here we go. I get to buy kids clothes. So no it's a great to, size. No red to wear on today's show. No. But I'm stealing them. I'm ready to wear for my shows later. <laughs> so if you guys like that beige one and you want a little, something a little bit bigger or in caviar, we do have this one, which this is the jumbo in the uh, beige caviar, 24 karat gold playing as well, gold hardware, and overall an amazing, amazing, amazing condition, which I'll go over all the, all the corners for you as always. So you have a little bit of rubbing on this one, nothing crazy. And let's see. I would say all corners have a little bit of darkening as you guys can see, but the main body of the back, it's beautiful. It's in great condition. There is no darkening on the front. I always look for darkening in the back because that's where the back sits. There really isn't a lot. You have one tiny little, you guys can, can you guys even see that? It's like a tiny, tiny little speck here. You have the classic uh, back pocket and let's see the condition on the inside. This is a single flap by the way. Which is great because when the back's bigger, that double flap really does add extra weight of making the back heavier. But because it's a single, it's actually very, very, very comfortable. And overall, you do have the classic creasing over here, which is again normal for all sorts of flap backs because that's where you know you move it the most. And then you have one big pocket here, the zipper in the back. Let me see if this one has a card. Does it have a card? I don't see a card on this one. And um, if you guys want me to read the serial number, I'm blind. So, not actually blind, but it doesn't have well, no numbers. Number yeah, but I don't see I don't see the number listed on this one. But overall, it is beautiful condition and very 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 clean on the on the inside. Right, Lou. The the single flaps in this size are perf are in such good 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 weight for them. And you can put your iPad in here. I love this. This is cute. This is really cute. And as, as I was saying before, the smaller ones are the perfect crossbody height for the little people. These ones do fall a little bit um, longer on me, but Grace has a really cool way of styling this. This is like the Grace way of styling these backs, which I never thought yeah. about it was really cool, where you can just put the little, a little bit of the chain in the front, and then the rest crossbody, and it sits higher, and you have that little extra nice detail. And the price for this one is 3,200 pounds, which is 3,936 USD. So you have two options of base flaps. You have the big one in caviar, and you have the little one in lambskin, both beige, but as you can see, this one is slightly darker, this one is just a little bit lighter. They're both beautiful. If I was gonna pick one, I would pick this one, just because of where it sits crossbody. I have a hard time finding like the perfect drop crossbody, and this one fits literally 
flawless when it comes to crossbody height. Krista, you need to come and show the piece. Okay. What's Kristen bringing over? Krista, this is what a show stuff. She's like, <laughs> I'm not sure. Show us, show us, show us. Ah, uh, don't show that because I want that. Go, Leonard. <laughs> it's so good. Guys. Uh, is that going to the US? No, it's not. It's not. Why? You guys. We're keeping it here. Sabrina stole some of my stock in New York, so I think I should return the favor <laughs> She's and like, steal some of her stock. Having everything shipped over to her. I'm like, no. I'm just, I'm just playing dress oh, up in the back, you guys. <laughs> How cute is this? It comes with the really skirt, cute. the this Chanel. Is this is really collectible. I might, but I won't. I'll leave it for you guys. This is <laughs> Chanel She'll Varsity. She'll leave it for you guys in the US. Varsity collection, you guys. <laughs> The US can still shop this is how without wear paying it. customs. Oversized, drape it one shoulder off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, is there anything that you want to see while we continue? Um, I'm going to move on to what am I going to move on to? So the Chanel bag we're still waiting for the price on. If we tag the one that's on the what site this one? that we had at 80. Which one? Which one? Painted Chanel. Oh, I'm going to do some Chanel jewellery, guys. Are we ready? So, I'm going to move on. It, this is, uh, it comes with a box, but it's a vintage box. It's the current season box as well. Not sure on the price of the cardigan yet. We just, everything's coming in. These guys are grabbing, Chris is grabbing everything and just like Trying playing dress up. I'm, 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 every time I go to the back, she's like, looking like she's like posing she's taking off her shoulder i'm like what are you doing who are you selling it to the series on the beige jumbo oh check so um this is no more goyard mitch you missed it how are you so what was the serial code on this i couldn't i couldn't find it i'm gonna read uh, it does it have a serial code maybe it's missing so this one i believe if you check the description I think that this, the serial code has come out on this. Uh, so if you check the description, it may have come out, which is quite common on vintage pieces as well. Okay, so no more pink. No more pink Chanel. Oh, but there's still pink, pink Chanel. Chanel. Everybody wants pink Chanel. So we do have Chanel vintage rope earrings as well. Uh, so this is a Chanel vintage rope pair of earrings. Um, camera, ba camera bag grey. It's not in today's show. Where did you see that? Did you see it? Maybe on an it was earlier show. Ah, uh, it was on an earlier show. So this is a very collectible piece. It's the from the era of Claudia Schiffer, where it, she did like a massive campaign with the big Chanel rope earrings and the Fendi wallet has Ah, the Fendi wallet. I, has got, I love people that love Fendi. So Fendi this again is 24 karat gold gilding. It has this almost like mirror-like finish. It is from the 95 collection, which is, you know this very collectible collection uh so you can see it's uh gives you that chanel facelift and i'm going to put both on because they both oh. need to be worn and here we go this is what it looks like on uh they i can shake my head they're not going to fall off so they do fit really nicely as well and again um let me just quickly is a card and crystal yes it is going to sell for sale in one of our shows so that will be coming on our end of the month super Lux show every friday the super Lux pieces will feature these pieces so you guys need to come to every friday show so you can see the condition of this is is nice i'd say there is some slight tarnishing to the hardware as you can see and i'm just going to show you this pair as well and again nice condition but with some signs of wear but it's vintage and that's okay that's why we buy vintage guys because she's so vintage like the sign so these yes, are 795 pounds which is 977 us dollars they come with the uh, these are highly collectible so these were featured in a magazine uh which you'll see claudia shiffer with all this like big chanel ropes like quite a collectible piece if you are looking to build your chanel collection as well so Brenna, where's Brenna? I don't think I've seen Brenna on today's show. She, she was on earlier. She was, maybe. Brenna, are you still there? Bev's there. No book totes, guys. Only the pieces that you can see behind yes. us. So what are you going to go for? What about this? I never know what's in this box, oh, though. So it's unbox. It's unboxed together. 
Let's see. Well, this is an empty box, so nothing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go. Put it in my car. <laughs> well, unboxing an empty box. <laughs> well, then. Is there anything in there? This one does have something. Yes, I strike one. So this oh comes in box. Oh my god, this is amazing. And see, I strike one, but then I found gold. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have this beautiful, Whoa. beautiful Chanel, probably a choker, I would say. But you have the, the dark silver rhinestones on the front, and this sits on beautiful um, gold chain. This is adjustable. I'm just going to put this on. Put it on top of my choker. Condition overall, I, do, I don't see actually any signs of tarnish at all. No rhinestones are missing either. So let's put this on and see how this looks. I do have a choker on, so I'm just going to put it on top of my choker. Oh, yeah. Let's see how that looks. So because it's higher, it won't close on me, and I do have my wrists and my neck and my feet are diminutive. So ignore how everything fits large on me, but it will sit like this. And you have the beautiful Chanel detail on the front. How pretty is that? Shall I try it on as well? Yes. This is so, so cool. Um, oh, I love that. And I love the CC right in the middle too. Kelly, you send have, us a wait, message. It's, it's oh. upside down. There you go. Oh. This way. Kelly, send us a message again. We don't really source because of some of the pieces, we don't really know when it's coming. So... The best time is just to obviously keep an eye on our shows. So this is my, this is on me on the um, Give me the, the longest, the shortest one. So there we go. That's so cool, isn't this it? This is so nice. So if you want to buy Limmy, this is how it works. We will talk about an item. The item will appear on the left-hand side, which you can tap on. If you want to see all the items we featured, you hit the handbag icon below and you can see the full selection of pieces we have just shown. And this piece will be coming up. So... Um, again, just to quickly show you, it's got this CC. This is box, by the way. Comes with box. This is late 2021, which and they sold out everywhere. Because you have the life, uh, Chanel logo right around the middle of Chanel yeah. as well. And the bijou chain. Yes. Which is what you see on the 2.55 clasp. So the price of this is £795, which is nine hundred and. 77 and look at the US back dollars. like it's, it's in really it's in really beautiful condition these would sell this was would have been around 995 in the store the chanel earrings sold ah the chanel rope earrings sold so this uh you need to get it guys <laughs> you need to get it advice will a birkin 35 fit inside the large dior book tote for travel it will cheryl mine does do you, book, do you have a Dior book tote? I don't have a Dior book tote, no. You need to have a that Dior book tote. That Birkin 35 fits in there? Yeah. yeah she's yeah, done it before. before. I've done it before. I do it all the time. That's how I travel with the larger one. So the length of this is, I'll give you the actual length on this piece. So, um, this, the length of the actual necklace. It's 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inches. But from the shortest one, it would be... It would be 14. 14. Yeah. And then from the longest length, you can have it at... What is this? 70 and a half inches. <laughs> 70 and a half inches. <laughs> Did you like a little duo act? It's like, yes. what's 14 inches? Uh, it can't be a bracelet, Zam. It can only be worn as... Um... Um, show. we do have book totes available on our website. So if you head over, we do have a, a leopard print Dior book tote. Um, could be a can you wear it as a bracelet? Zam, yeah. you could wear it as a blazer. Yeah. It's a chain It pack. might not necessarily like sit center, but you can totally wrap this around actually and wear it as a bracelet because it's it, a, it is a choker. Yeah, it's meant to be a choker, but you can definitely like loop it around. And it'll just sit sideways, yeah. but it, you can You could. You definitely could. So, is a chain on the re on the reissue a bijou chain or Mademoiselle? It's a bijou. It's the bijou. It's a Mademoiselle. The Sorry, bijou, okay. The bijou is the vintage round links. I learned this from Winnie. The other oh, time. okay. You're well, right. It is Mademoiselle. There you go. We learn something every. We day. learn something every single day. Like from Winnie. Is <laughs> yeah. <a toad. laughs> so if you want yeah. that, tap on the icon above for the necklace as well. Okay. What are we going? What? I'm re you've already had your girl. <laughs> you already had your girl. I was going to go for I'm actually going to go for a piece, which I just want to make sure that this is. Something that gets a, for me, the Chanel, the Celine bag. So when I first started my like venture on the luxury market, the, one of the bags that I was obsessed with was the Celine luggage bag. Did you ever have one? I have one in green. Do you have one? In green. Do you yeah. still have it? I do not still have it, no. So I had one in a bright orange. I collected them in, I had a bright orange one and like an electric blue one. Like this it was one of the hottest bags around it so the celine luggage bag is considered as an it bag so it's considered as a bag that you should have in your collection so the it bags are celine luggage Givenchy antigona 
the YSL K bag. The Balenciaga City bag. The Balenciaga City bag. And then there's one more that I feel like I've missed. Givenchy had to go in a sleeve luggage. It's a La Lola puzzle? No. The Lueve puzzle, puzzle. yes. Yeah. Classic Chanel flat bag. Birkin Kelly. Birkin and Kelly. These are all considered classic bags that you should have in one's wardrobe. Now this is um, the small luggage, which is in a, like an etopy gray color. So it's a smaller size and then there's a mini. Now these were really, really hard to get off. Like you had to get like onto a wish list to yeah, get them. Like my neon one, I paid back then two and a half thousand pounds because I couldn't get hold of it in the store. It was an orange one and I could only find it in, in the Asian markets. Now this has some tiny signs of wear to the corners, the main body of the bag is like really nice and clean with no color transfer. I'd say there's like some small fine hairline scratches to it as well. And um, the mo ma main signs of wear are on the handles, but again, that's completely normal. If you want, you can twi tie a twilly. You don't need to have an Hermes bag for the twilly. Yeah, oh, okay. And how did I miss that? So you can see that there is some wear to the front, but if you are looking for like a nice, Everyday bag. Yeah, like a bag you don't have to worry about, but it's exactly. still a classic bag. A bag, that you can, well. a bag that you can just enjoy and use without having to worry about yeah. scratching or scuffing it. Yeah, exactly this bag in green, because I just, I love green and everything that I want. And only life is green. But I mean, it is. They actually have a, there is actually a book, the talk, a coffee table book that talks about the it bags. And this is, this was always, always in it. And you have a little bit of darkening on the back of the handles, but other than that, the interior is quite clean and it comes with everything you know, from the store. Is the skew, um, no, what it won't. There's no skew on this. No skew on this one. Hooray. We're torturing. Hooray. Do you we're torturing, you guys. guys. Yeah, we, well, today we just want to show you pieces and yes. not sell them. Yeah, basically. DM Do you have a silver Chanel sandals from the live show the other day? Oh, they were here 10 seconds ago. I can put them live if you want to see, me to quickly show you them. Probably the, uh, they're here. So this will be under Ingrid Wilson, Ingrid, Ingrid. So we do have these Chanel shoes and they were featured on our live show the other day. They are a Cinderella pair of Chanel shoes. They feature these little like CC pearls on, the, on it. Uh, so you can see here, they've got the little Chanel pearls with the classic quilted. I, we, this is rated as like, fair condition because there is wear to it and they have been used and they also have the classic quilting to the uh, actual heel as well nice for like summer occasion they ankle they go just around the ankle they're 39.5 i'm a size 39 and i can i would wear them but i'd wear them probably on the tightest uh tightest hull as well and um again it's um rated as fair like nice little like girly shoes. Yeah, they're like, really pretty. Like this would go perfect. I love the little, little pearls and all the yeah. CCs. It's really They've cute. They've got lots of little CC pearls. Now these were. Um, I'm gonna do a special price for you on these. I'm gonna get these and make them live so Nancy, you can get them as well. Um, so you can get them if you miss the dibs on this. They are live. Tell me how much you'd like to change it. Nancy, I'm gonna give you a special price because I know they were on our live show before. Uh, So, we are going to do a special price. These will be now £440, um, and I will get the US dollar conversion as well on this. So you can just see as well, that the pearls are really cute. And these were sold out, like again, nowadays you can't get a pair, like my Chanel shoes were £900. So Chanel has up the, the price Price increase everything. on the yeah. shoes are mental. So consignment, will be available in the US shortly. We are working very hard with the tea. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> 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 uh, to get things going. So there you go. They're 541 US dollars, 440 pounds. Just tap on the icon and hopefully you get yourself a Cinderella pair of shoes. Since I feel like we've been talking about covering handles for a little bit. Should we show them like a massive twillies. collection of twillies that Let's we have? pull out the twillies. Let's pull out the twillies. We have several twillies to show you guys. I hope they're on there. Do you have twillies on the list? Yeah. Okay, we have no. the twillies. Yes, we don't want to torture you with twillies. We don't want to be like, oh my God, loads and of twillies. twillies. Oh, oh, this is really pretty actually. Yeah. Mm. Okay, hold this one. Ooh. So twillies you can use in so many different ways. People use them as headbands, they'll put them on a ponytail, put them around the handbag strap. You can put them in um, through the orans as well. So if you have orans sandals or you want to give them a little bit more of a summery look, you can put toilets to them as well, and you can use them as bracelet. 
This one is in a beautiful blue silk, and it has, is this a, it's a cheetah, isn't it? The shoes are 39.5, it is a cheetah, it's the cheetah. bar bar cap. The bar bar, yes, look. Look how pretty this is in the dark navy blue with the Hermes um, it's logo on the front and in great, great condition. This one doesn't have any pools or stains at all. You have a little at tag, still the tag still attached on the back sometimes from where this can come off. This one still has it on and it's a beautiful blue and white design. And toilets usually come with a variety of colors when you get these. So finding something that's two-tone, it's actually extremely rare. So I, I really like this one a lot. And people will wear them, as I said, like headbands, ponytails, around the wrist, on their shoes, a little bow on any handbag. It doesn't have to be just for an Hermes handbag. Uh, what was the size of that Chanel shoes? 39 and a half. 39.5. 39 and a half. And just before, I'm just gonna quickly show you the necklace on again. Oops, sorry. While well, Rachel finds a skew on that. So, of the choker? Yeah. That's a, that's a really cool choker. I wanna quickly show you again, Hannah. So I'll show you on the different lengths. I'm going to show you the shortest length first as well. Oh, to how to you can put the or, the twilly on the orans. Yes. Uh, are there any orans? So, we don't have any orans. So, so I'll this show you is after. the uh, oh, this isn't linked. No more pink Chanel. Everybody wants pink Chanel. There's still pink oh. Prada, guys. Prada or There's pink Prada. Yeah. So this is the Chanel on the uh, shortest length, length, so it can sit just here. And I'm going to show you the longest length as well. Uh, the shoes I would just wear with like a dress or even a pair of jeans. Or ripped a jeans and a t-shirt. I mean, I'm not going to get my feet up, guys. <laughs> I would wear those shoes with ripped jeans and a t-shirt. So this is, this is on the longest one, which to be honest, I'm not too sure if I'd wear it on the longest one like this. Like, I feel like it doesn't really show. I mean, you could have it up. You could have it like a deeper one if you don't want to wear it as a choker. So it could just sit above the like collarbone. Um, so hopefully, Hannah, that helps. Oh, it's sold. Oh, congrats. Hannah, did you buy this? Let me know, congratulations. Right, I'm gonna pop that. So the twillies on the Orans, you know how the Orans have the little H shape? So if, I just said this, my fingers are the Oran and you have a little H through here. There's a little indentation of the sides where you can kind of wrap this through them, do it several times, and then go through it and make a nice little bow, and you'll give different colors to the Orans. And you don't have to necessarily have the same exact twillies um, on the Orans to do that. As long as you have something that's comparable in color, it'll work really well because you're going to have it tied very, very closely. So from this print, um, we only have this, just the one on this one, but we also have this one in the same color variation but a different print so these two you can definitely put on a two-handle bag and it will match beautifully it's different different prints but same exact colors this one has the cats and this one has a little horse detail they all say hermes on the twilly they all have the little tag on the bag and i do have the cats one i'm afraid yes you only you'll have the cats one yeah, I, have I mean, one. I've got two others, but in the blue, I've only got two. Is that it for this one? Possibly, let's have a look. So, that one means. is a cat, one is a horse. You can tie them together, make them longer. You can wear these as straps as well. If you have um, an Evelyn bag, for example, you can un unhook it from one side and hook that same one on the opposite side, put a twilly through it, and take turn the Evelyn into a shoulder bag. This is the cat one. That's the cat one. What it is? I'm literally taking it all out. I'm sorry. That's the horse one then. Thank you. So the price is of, oh, of the... They're both the same. They're both the same. <laughs> okay. Of course. But I'm guessing they're going to be the same price because they're extreme, yeah. they're in the same condition. They all come in box. So the price for the Bobcats and the horse, Twilly, is 130 pounds, which is 159 USD. That's both under retail, guys. I believe they're closer to $200 now in stores plus tax. And this, the price you see here is the price you pay. Um... When can we see the Evelyn from the preview? I don't think the Evelyn is on this show. There's no Evelyn on this show, no, right? It'll be on no a different show. show. Yeah, no, that's on the Tuesday show. On the Tuesday show. So we have these two uh, blue and white twillies. Do you want to show them here? There's a couple more, actually. Okay, and then other twillies is... That, oh, sorry. Oh, open that up with an empty box. Oh. Ooh, okay. So this twilly is a nice, almost like a... Lots of different styles on this. It's got the Mador detail inside, which is the classic 
my door design inside and the knocker detail here. So it's got like greens, blues and reds, rouge H, uh, blue broom, lots of different colors inside. And if you know Hermes, you'll know that the door design is a feature that is quite famously so known iconic, as well. Yeah. It's quite iconic. And as, um, like personally, I think I would just like have them in my hand. We actually have two of those. So if they wanted to have two for the handles that really match, we have two of those. I'd buy these to manifest my Kelly and Birkin. <laughs> So I buy my Twilly before the Birkin or Kelly or Constance because this means that it's going to come my way. Yeah. So if you want to manifest one. Sometimes that works, buy them. Them. Yeah. This doesn't have to be on a Chanel bag. It can be on any, any bag. type of yeah, bag as well, bag. which yeah. I really love. You can have it on, even on this, like if you wanted to have it styled on the top yeah. handle as a bow or actually just wrapped around the handles just as like a cute uh, protector or to add color to it. You really can. You can do so much with a twilly. Doesn't twillies are great pieces to have on any of your favorite bags. Yes. Chanel trendy top handle. So many fun ways that you can wear a twilly. And there you go. It would definitely gold I'm, goes I'm with everything. I'm a nice little bow on that. I think that was like a yeah. little bow would be so pretty. Gold for sure. I mean, is there a double of this? Are that one? There's two. Yes. So there's a double of this, so you can. Get That's the two. only one that we have two of. The other ones are all single. Add, I mean, what I do is on my Kellys, I have different Bir or Birkins. I have different Twillies. So on my pink one, I have like a grey colour and I have a bright orange so that I can like play around with it. So there's yeah. so many different things you can do with this as well. So these all are £130 and they are below retail, which is Yeah, below great. retail. And then the other one that we the have... The blue isn't a horse Twilly, it's a... Barber. No, there's a horse oh, one. There is a horse one. There, there is a horse one, yes. We don't have the skew because they both have the same skew. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the same price, so you can let us know which ones you guys like to get. And then the other Twilly that we have is this one, which is more on the red color, and then it has periwinkle and beautiful little green through it, through the... Um, Let me open it's better. Throughout the print, the main color is red, but you have periwinkles, you have... A little bird detail, palm trees. It's really, really, really pretty as well. So we have a total of how many? Five, five twillies? Yeah. Two that match, two that will go really well together. Um, not identical prints, but identical color patterns. And this one. This would be really cute here as a little bow on that one. So if you have any black backs that you guys want to have to add some color or accent to it. Um, Brenna, you want the horse one? So... Let's see, where is it? Let me, I'll show you again so you know. It is this one. So if you want... Yeah, send us a message. Send me a message and I will sort that out for you. Yeah. So, it's, I will uh, this one, Brenna, right? The one with this one? Just say yes, make sure that I have the right one for you. Uh, can I get a DM if it will be shown on another show, a live show so I don't miss it? Is that for the gray? Uh, grey camera, camera bag. It probably won't be featured again on another live show, but you can actually go back and watch our live shows. Uh, so that you can like, if you've missed it, you can watch any of our live shows, play it back, see the details and where to it. But it probably won't be featured, unless it doesn't get sold, then we do we try, we, we try to feature newer pieces. And if we but get a chance, we will feature it again. Okay. So, the bag that we were talking about that was designed by John Galliano. I misspoke, John Paul Gaultier. Oh no, John, oh, yeah. Yeah, John, John, oh, yeah. John Paul Gaultier yeah. designed the, the, the Kelly, the Gypsy shoulder Sierra. Kelly, yeah. the Shadow Birkin, and the classic Gypsy Air. The classic Sierra. Gypsy Air. Now, this piece is absolutely incredible. It's in a Try a, a double color, so it's a two way. So gypsies typically come in one color yeah, way. It's very rare. This is a double color way. So typically, this is something that you would even order in Horizon or as a special order. Or a podium order, or, yeah. yeah. I'm so sure you, it might even be a triple color. I'm sure it's got Is it triple color? color? Has inside. it got another inside? Let's see if it has another and, color inside. And by the way, this was designed to be considered the Birkin on the go. Yeah. So the inspiration for this bag was a Birkin and making a Birkin hands free. So that's where that gypsy art came in play. Like to be on your motorcycle. Yes, I have two gypsiers and I love the yes. gypsier. Like, They're such an easy bag to they, wear. They really are. And you can, so this is an example of one that it's it meant to be crossbody, but you can actually, because I've done it before. How did I do it? Oh, anyway, I don't know how you do it. You can actually unclip. The shoes is 39.5, sorry. You can unclip one of this part because these, the strap connects in the middle. You can unclip this. 
just have the one strap, attach a twilly and use it as a shoulder bag. And I do that all the time and it's a great shoulder bag as well. So it's another very, very versatile bag where you can go from crossbody to shoulder bag with a twilly. I know, and they're absolutely easy to wear. Yeah, really and this comfortable. Rumors are gonna be discontinued by the way. Yeah, like, I think so they sad. will be. It has the um, shoulder comfort strap, so you can wear it as like a nice such a good comfort bag, strap. especially in that size. And this is Clement's leather. And if you know, you know, that someone who owns one of this is for me, they love Hermes. They yeah. know the Believe, the Gypsy Air. They're like <laughs> the bags that you go in and you'll score Berkeley or Kelly with it. Yeah, it's, it's true. Like they're, not a lot of people know that this is meant to be like the Birkin to go. So they're, they're highly, highly coveted. Especially now, there's kind of like rumors that they're going to be discontinued by Hermes. And having them in two-tone is extremely rare. None of yeah. the ones that I have are two-tone. Well, I mean, you just can't get in a wall. I don't think I've seen this... I don't think I've seen a brown, brand new one for. No, it's been a while. For a while, it's been. So a, maybe yeah. they already have been discontinued. I asked because. Or I maybe the bigger sizes. I've yeah, seen. so because there's three sizes. This is actually the smallest size you can get yeah. them in, which is quite again rare to come by. We'll get the yeah. set measurements for it's you. It's so so good, and this is something that you can turn into a shoulder bag, which is so chic as a shoulder bag. 27 centimeters, which is 11 inches in width as well. And a lot of people, by the way, will wear them just like the Birkin, where they just kind of- I leave mine open. I, I leave mine open, yeah. We can just leave it like that, very casual. All you have to do is just lift this and then close it again, so you don't have to loop it all well, the, the other way. The other way I, I do sometimes it wear is it is just like amazing. this tucked in. So I do, I tuck mine in like this and wear it like that. And if you want, you can especially, also... Especially if you... I mean, in a two-tone, I mean, this looks so cool. This, like that, shows the actual colour as well, which is beautiful. Yeah, fun. like... And also, have you ever, have you ever worn yours as a shoulder bag? Were I'm you, not. I'm yeah. not. You, so oh, you, my God. The price is mental. That's like 50% bill of retail, by the way. That is mad. That is a Hermes bag for less than a vintage Chanel classic flat. Yeah. It's £3,866. And that condition is... Pounds. The condition is really good, guys. It, like... Clemence leather is indestructible. They used to make their vintage luggage at Hermes out of Clemence leather for a reason. This is a beautiful Cobalt condition. blue, and Ugh. which is like a sea greeny blue. I love her. And this beautiful, I'm not sure on the exact blue on this, but I'm this turquoise sure blue. I, love this one. I, I, I use mine a lot as a shoulder bag, actually. I love them as shoulder bags. We'll show the corners quickly just to of show. Course. Like, the guys, the condition of this is insane. Like, there's, there's really nothing, like, there's nothing that I can point out to you guys honestly like the glazing in the corner is it's great like there's i can't say like oh it's darkening here because there is no darkening and again it's a mess anything that happens to any glazing in the future if it even does happen just take it to a mess my first one is probably around 11 years old and i haven't had any issues so it's in, it's in a deep deep blue if you're looking to build your hermes collection or your collector you need gypsy. This is probably the most elegant crossbody. You can tell we're very passionate about this. I, I love Someone this. Needs to well, I, I have right two. Now. I literally yeah. have, like, you can't get a more elegant crossbody from Hermes than this. Like, you, everybody has a typical Evelyn. This is like, I know Hermes stuff. This is it. Like, yeah. Now she's going crazy on this. She was like, the price. The price. I know. It's so Again, good. Find so, it cheaper, match a price if you can so actually good. find this combination full stop. Two tone is very rare. I've actually, I've never seen a two tone in person. This is my first one. Yeah, me so too. I'm just cradling her. Yeah. I'm just gonna stand here with it for a while now. Rock of my baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna go for next? This one. Okay. Here, let me put this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show this one. <laughs> so we have a little baby Chanel bag, vintage as well. This is in patent leather or patent leather, mm -hmm. depending on where you are in the world. And I love this one because you have more of a full flap look, which you guys hear me say this all the time. I love a full flap look. You have the classic black back pocket in this one as well. This patent is in amazing condition. There is no stickiness. If you guys ever wanted to try patent, patent is actually a very, very durable leather. Like sometimes it gets a little bit of a bad reputation when you see it sometimes in the light colors, but that's because people haven't taken care of the patent. If you take good care of the patent, it will last you forever. If you want to try patent, go with dark because you don't have to worry about any color transfer or any stains. There's nothing, a vintage patent leather is amazing. This is not sticky at all. And this does come with a strap, which is tucked inside here. So wow. it's one big pocket with a little zipper. Let me check for authenticity card and then I'll show you all the corners, all the condition and everything. This one doesn't come with a card. Does it have a series numbers? It is a series three. Overall, that condition on the inside is great. You have little fine like um, hair scratches because it's lime on the inside. And you guys kind of see a little bit like here. Very, 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 very minimal. 
When you close this, you have this beautiful long crossbody strap also in that patent leather. I have a feeling that I'm gonna love this. Yeah. I just, I love square bags. It's amazing. Right? It was, <laughs> and the security, the security guard is like, yeah. that's amazing. There are, so, like, I, I've kind of, after seeing so many bags around my life, I've definitely always gravitated to anything square. I don't have a good explanation as to why I love square bags so much. I find them so elegant. This is like in between a camera bag, a flat bag. It is. It's all of the things that I like in one bag. Classic. And I absolutely love the strap because it's so, so, so comfortable. I love the fact that you have that classic little knot on the top. The corners, let's see. So the the this one is in great condition. This one has a little bit of rubbing here. Nothing too, too, too crazy, to be honest. And a little bit of rubbing on this one. I would say only one corner has the biggest sign of wear, which is this one. Other than that, I don't see anything wrong or issues with the pattern. The bottom is nice and clean. Back is nice and clean. Front is nice and clean. It's like this square mini. It, well, that's my, you know that? Yeah. The only Chanel bag that I've regretted not getting is the, the square mini. Chanel mini and caviar. And caviar. Like that's every time I was like, why didn't I get that bag? And I wish they would bring it back, but that's like the one regret that, like, request, regret that I have from Chanel. This. Well, now you know where to get one if you feel, you know, that regretting situation. Do you have a green one? Somewhere? A green one. <laughs> that I could see a right now. We do have a blue one coming up on our next week Friday live show, which will be from Dubai. See, that, that you guys should get that, like, yeah. now. Start emailing Dubai and saying. So it's next mine. week Friday, we have a super, three super live shows. Dubai, London, USA. I have one Friday next week. We'll see if you all know. You all find that together. We all find that together. You all on it. Well, there you go. I'm having one as well. She's got one as well. You heard it here first. Yeah, you heard it here I heard it here first with you guys. Okay, I'm curious to know the price of this piece. Let's see what the price. This is honestly in great, great condition, and it's just something different. If you guys want something vintage. Different. Just oh put the head ones. Wait, look at the price. Is that real? I'll be really <laughs> priced in Chanel Classic flat bags at two thousand four hundred pounds. It's two thousand nine hundred and fifty two UST. It's less than three thousand dollars for this. Someone needs to be, I think we're killing the market, guys. Yeah. Like, we just <laughs> killed the market. And it's so cool because when you flat back a square, when, when you take tuck the chain like the strap in, it's a nice little handful clutch too. I mean guys, you look can at that. sell that back <laughs> for more money. Look at that. We've lost it. I was gonna I was gonna say let's do price slashing, but no, after you that can't, you can't, you can't even price, price slash that. This is <laughs> this is rare and this is really pretty and probably one of the best colors to get in pants and leather will be the black. Which is amazing. It is. Now talking about amazing and talking about back plated and oh, talking gosh. about collector pieces this and talking about vanity bags this and talking rare. about bags that have been featured Very in rare. the runway and in magazines and everywhere. One that should be long, belong to a campaign from Chanel. I don't even think, I don't even, I don't even know what to say right now, guys. You're going to have to hit, but you are going to hit the handbag icon. Mm -hmm. Guys, if, if you do not believe in anything that I'm saying about investment pieces and something that should be worth more in the resale market, to be honest, what I should be doing is changing the price to make it a lot more higher, probably around £3,000 higher than the price we're going to reveal on this piece. Okay, I'm going to show you. It's not like it has any holes in it because that's how it's priced. Uh, it has this beautiful chunky 24 karat gold gilding. It has a top handle bag, very cute, very 90s, 80s. It's like a little suitcase, a Chanel suitcase. I would wear this, you can put your laptop in. You can even attach a strap. Condition is really nice. It's got the little feet to it. Uh, patent leather, it, there is like some like a little fine like hairline scratch here, but there is like no like uh, wear to it where it's like lost its shine. So again, really nice condition as well. Now this piece, you know, like 30th birthday present, buy this, sell it back, look inside guys. Honestly, this is actually amazing. Inside, it's really, really nice and clean. It's a one series. The more and more I'm talking about this, the more and more I actually want to buy this The reason I buy it for herself. She really is, look. <laughs> I, 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 that's a serious thing. That, that is, Guys, I don't ever do it on a show where I'm like, oh my God, do I even continue talking? Shut your mouth, Sabrina. <laughs> You're like, don't sell it. It's a real skew, people. Oh my God. <laughs> it's got no skew. 
Does it have a skew? It has a skew. It has a skew. It's wrong skew. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's already It has a skew. Me. It has an authenticity card, guys. It has the flipping strap. Look at that strap. It has, look at that strap itself. I mean, that strap you can attach to another bag. And I, I can't, I, I mean, imagine that as a laptop bag. This is a bag that I need to be walking into work with and being like, hi everyone. I'm, oh my God, look. It's this, what? It's, it's, okay. It has two straps. It's two different looks. Two yeah, different looks. Look. Okay, let's close this baby up. Let's, let's put the strap okay. on. Okay. Uh, have you guys already seen the price? Where's the well, price? It's in there. Is it live? It's loaded up. Oh my no, god, someone's seen the you price. Pay, you I don't even want. Oh my god, okay. The All right, the price right. has gone up. It comes with two straps a big chunky nice. chain. £4,950 for the Chanel lunchbox, which is. Six thousand eight hundred eighty-nine US dollars. Now this is from the same family as the Chanel Heart Vanity bags. They go for, like I say, around seven thousand pounds in the market if you can find them. They come with it comes with two straps. A, I'm, I'm like a crossbody strap. Oh, that's cool. Like this. It has a shoulder strap as well, which is adjustable, so you can have the big chunky gold chain on it. This is what this is one of the reasons why I love Chanel. To be honest, it's about it's so That's, historical. Yeah. Yeah. This is very much an archival piece, and, and there's not many pieces I can say about that. Which archival pieces are something that should belong in a Chanel museum that, in time, will become worth so much more money. Now, archival pieces are Chanel vanity heart bags, not maybe the new heart bags. We are yet to find out. Uh, a, this particular vanity bag, a model it's Chanel really cool. briefcase, is an archival piece. Uh, the Chanel vanity bags, the heart inside archival pieces. What else is an archival piece? This, like, honestly, this, perfume this, bottle. the perfume bottle. Like, yes, you can wear it with two straps as well. No, even though this is black, it reminds me of a Barbie briefcase. It is like a Barbie briefcase, and it's from. I think this would be pretty much the same time when the Barbie collection with the vanity bags come out, which for me, it's so cool. Is what like an iconic era for Chanel, like. And there you go. And here's a normal strap. Or you can wear, you can wear both. Yeah. Like, I would ooh, do both. You could wear it like the Gabrielle. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Each shoulder. Oh my God, let's try it. There you go. With one shoulder ah! on. And there you go. You've got two straps. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> so archival piece uh, is that it's something that you just aren't going to get in the market yeah, often. Okay. It's something that should belong in a... A Chanel Museum because they are were well, quite iconic to the year. So archival is anything really collectible, which typically you'd see in photo shoots and campaigns. So that's kind of what archival uh, is for something like this. So this, to be honest, could be lent to someone like Vogue or a museum and be featured in a museum because it's quite iconic. Like this was the era that changed the handbags. There's so much story behind bag handbags. Obviously, handbags are fashion statements for women. But also, so many things that changed for women in the times of like the statement piece. Like the supermodels were people that allowed, told women that they are allowed to, should be having these collections in their handbags and really brought out why women like us are now watching shows and are on shows feeling crazy about handbags. Well, you see these in person too. Yeah. Like, how often do you see a bag like this? You don't. Like, yeah. Like, it's just, when it you is. actually get to see them, you get speechless. <sighs> God, there's quite a few nice pieces here. By there the way. are, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go for this. What's inside? Oh, you're unboxing. A little one. So I'm actually a huge fan of these. I don't Ooh. have this model. I have the relief model version of this. But I, this is a full set, by the way. It comes with the box, comes with a dust bag. You have the constant slim. I have to get something for you while you do that. Which I literally am obsessed with all the slim models from Hermes. So the idea behind this is that you can obviously use it as a wallet. It's way too pretty to be used as a wallet. When you open these, you have, this is like store fresh, like there's like no signs of wearing this whatsoever. So when you open these, you have a little removable pouch that you can use however you wanna use. And then you have two little pockets, one here and one on the other side. The, what I love about these, and I actually, this is an Epsom leather, by the way, so a very, very lightweight, very, very sturdy leather, and in palladium hardware, this though has uh, plastic on it. You have this on the back. So the idea behind this is that you can put it on a belt, so if you have an oversized blazer, or a coat, or a t-shirt, whatever you wanna wear, you put 
this on the belt and I mean with the wood they didn't mean a belt this top has a little uh, like a cotton strap I could snag this on that cotton strap I love this yeah. yeah I bought one if you love me you just give I it bought to a me good, I bought a green one <laughs> you have a green one yeah I want one that's have a kind of green ah uh, that, that's gonna kind of it well I can't I love her no, I already got oh it was just green so you like? can put this literally like on my shirt I can just put the strap on my shirt through it you can put it on a belt you can put it on any sort of chain I bought a long like a men's belt and I'm, I'm gonna wear it as like, I was, a cross I was gonna say you can actually put it as a cross on any sort of a men's strap I have the relief version on this and I have the canvas um, like air mat straps and I wear it as a crossbody and it will sit right yeah. here. And it doesn't fit a phone, but it fits literally anything else, your keys, your lipsticks, anything. These are hard to come by. This combination, I actually just got some like really cool air mat training recently and I had no idea that the black combination with the palladium is the one that actually is the hardest to get and that everybody is after. I don't know that why that is, but I personally love the black with the palladium. Yeah, I love black and palladium. This is like cool I love this edgy. piece. It's a full set. Very, very hard to get. And I wonder if, like, we don't have any straps. Sure. It will sit literally around here, depending on the strap. Like, they're so cool. And if you have, like, an oversized blazer or just literally anything, shorts and a t-shirt, yeah. put this on a belt. Like, this will never, never go on a salad. Just... Just don't put it inside as a wallet because it's too pretty to go inside as a wallet. I, I, just <laughs> like, put, I, I like got mine because sometimes I just take out my here. wallet, a lipstick, and some keys, and that's all I need. Yeah. And my cards. And when like, I'm out. Like, guys, it's flawless. This one really is. This is unused. Like, it's flawless. Uh, we don't have any long Constance wallet. This is the only Constance wallet. And this will we get have. you the prices of the sh other Chanel bags, which is shown. The well. price of this is £2,937, which is 3612 Maybe. Okay, guys, someone needs to grab that because that is really underpriced. This, this is very, very and underpriced. And you can't get it. No, it's like, it, it's, no, it's stupidly underpriced. underpriced. Yeah. It's like £2,000 underpriced. Yeah, I paid more for my early one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, Price. Who priced this? This is, yeah. This, this is a wrong. This is, <laughs> we have made a mistake here, yeah, guys. It, like, honestly. dust bag, literally everything. So, so, so versatile. Um, this one. It was, it's a Sade bag price, but. <laughs> anyway that it's it's flawed this is like this is unused guys and it's from any MS piece here more than the Kelly strap. I mean you go on this. and see on, on our website we have a pink one up for four thousand pounds yes I, it, and the black and palladium it's absolutely amazing I mix mine no I mix metals all the time the so my Kelly pockets uh, pocket strap is black with palladium my mini Evelyn is black with gold and I put them together yeah I mean look at our bracelets you mix it. You mix it. You mix matches. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Linda, It'll look fine. You could add a twilly to it to make. Yes, you can. you can add it. There's so many. There's so Let's many different it. ways. Let's try. Use the blue. Um, the, I was thinking about the blue. The blue. Yes. Yeah, really how cool. connected we are. Even this would go. That would go really nicely. Yeah. yeah this suits our family. It's so. It's so pretty. Okay. So this twilly can be threaded through as. Around your waist as well, so you could. You can play the Kelly pocket strap if you want to. You can do a chain belt, so this can be. Uh, you can put the twilly around your waist as well, at, or you can wear it as. I don't know if you could wear this as a shoulder bag. Two twillies. Or, or and there's extra long twillies. Yeah, there's an, so th th this is a regular size twilly. They have longer twillies where you can actually do that. If as you well. want to have it as a shoulder bag with a twilly, then you just tuck it in the underneath and, and, and do a little knot there. You can have a little. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Like guys, the, like talk about a versatility piece from Hermes. This and the constants. Constance. Well, it is like it's a mini constants. Like there's so there's mini. you have a constant twenty four, you have a constant eighteen, you have the constant slim, and then you have this little. Yeah, I'm gonna wear my green one tomorrow. Don't. I don't have one of those, and I really want one. Do you not have a constant? You don't have a constant to go. I have a constant. Oh, the really? I have the really slim. I don't have a. Uh, Excellent I don't have a really, played in hardware. Yeah, Honestly, these. guys, again. <laughs> Do um, your, it, it's not a wish list item, but, but I, it's, it's it's like a wish list item. Yeah. And just so you guys know, Hermes really is making it harder for all the pieces, um, even for the people that have had history. Yeah, they're they've out, made they're, it harder. Now. So um, Chanel has increased the prices. Hermes increased the prices not as much, but what they're doing is not to compensate for that. Is literally making everything harder. And even bags that weren't really quota bags, they're starting to count as quota bags. So. A garden party these days can't count as a quarterback in some stores. Like, it's a little bit yeah. ridiculous. And all these pieces, they may not be quarterbacks. Anything with a Constance and anything with, like, a, a, the family of the Kellys. It's often given to wish list Yeah, it's, it's considered as a wish list piece. So, 
The constant slim is harder to get than that Ruslim slim, which yeah. is what I have. I don't oh, have a constant slim. A quarterback. Yeah, quarterbacks. Quarterback. Yes, yeah, so yeah. They're 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 very hard to get, especially in that conver- in yeah. that color combination. Yeah. So guys, we are reaching to the end of the show, and I am going to be doing. 10 minutes of price slashing. So yeah, guys, Brina. are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, Brina. no price slashing guys, no price slashing. So if you want to get something, which is on the show, uh, but website, how much would you to, okay, Sammy, tell me what you want. Uh, and we'll try to make it work. So guys, I am giving Can you I guys- Can I this, Sabrina? I want this. 10 minutes, <laughs> uh, not on the constant, that cannot happen. You're that like, cannot happen on so the constant, guys. <laughs> Uh, we don't have any Chanel half moons in. We have a pink one coming, okay. but not a beige one. So I'm waiting for your skews oh, to come in, guys. Do do you to give you ten minutes. So while we find your skews, we're gonna go through the last bag. I think on there's, the show. I think there's a bag in there actually. Oh, there's three. Oh, hang on, yeah. we've got some bags. We've still got some bags left while you guys come in with the skews. So. Lunch, I'm going to show you the, oh my God, Carol, if you get the lunch box, <gasps> honestly, that is a incredible piece. And we it have is. an Hermes show tomorrow and we're going to have our Hermes shows Tuesday. Our Hermes shoe show is on Tuesday, 5 p.m. with Do Grace. Do you think this is the peeped camera bag? So if you want to see what's available, Ooh. hit the handbag icon it's below. It is. It is? Peeped the camera bag. Yeah. Okay. So this is a... Why does nothing have a skew on today? It's a good question. Nothing that, and guys, we're losing it. We're losing our brains. So, this one has a skew. Do you want to go for yours yeah, first? Do this one and I'll do okay. this one. Right. What, what, oh, what? there was a black classic flap someone was asking about. Oh, you're going to hit me in the head with the bag there. <laughs> okay, so, east west. meets the west. Yes, a little bit longer. This is a black eat me, eats meets west, which is really, really hard to come by with silver hardware. Now you can see that this is in uh, a really beautiful condition. It has um, a, a silver hardware, lambskin, and comes with a dust bag, which I am just going to show you now. Um, so, inside, beautiful red burgundy lining dust bag silver which is really really cool to come by as well uh so let me just quickly show you the corners i'd say that there is some slight tiny signs of wear to the corners but overall still in a nice good clean condition and um, it is a classic fab like if you love the puffiness and you prefer puffiness um you can see that this piece is really nice and special guys i'm get, letting you pick whatever you want for a price slash oh so gosh. silver hardware you can see it goes nicely over the shoulder. It can't be worn as a crossbody bag because it is a shorter length strap, which is around uh, 12 inches. So it's a 12 inch as well. So uh, no, um, there you go. 100% the band can't happen when Sabrina is slashing. No, can't happen. <laughs> uh, nice clean corners. So it's a, this for me is just, if you want a black. That is cheap. A chic. We're Palladium. Classic and a little flap. bit of a different classic flap. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's a longer lo- longer one, but not too big. And honestly, the price on this is going to be insane because uh, the corners, again, are really nice and clean. And can I see it on you as well? Yes. I was ready for the next one. You were ready for the next I one? I was ready for the next one. It's like, this is like really nice and soft and puffy. It's buttery. 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 So, voila. I can't put this crossbody either. So if I have no. one people, nobody can put this No crossbody. one. No. But I mean, but it's such a good length though. And the fact that it's like the east-west, it's, it makes it nice as a shoulder bag. Not necessarily if you a crossbody. Are, if you are looking for a classic flat bag, I promise you guys that the price on this is going to be amazing. Black, silver hardware. Really very, very pretty actually. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, quick the price oh. of this is two thousand four hundred and fifty pounds, which is three thousand thirteen USD. Oh my God, that price! Honestly, if you want a black flap with palladium hardware, silver hardware, a classic, and, and you don't know the price of a on chain. It really is like it. Honestly, is an incredible piece. Yeah. Okay, I'm mean, gonna show you the archive piece again, just because someone wanted to see the inside and the year. So the the main body is in nice, clean condition. No, like. 
you know, you know, with like black patent, you get like discoloration, like all the shine is lost. Nice gold hardware. And the inside on this was really nice and clean. So we'll quickly show you the inside. So inside, you can see it features the dust bag as well. Comes with two straps. Um, and you can see that that's nice and clean inside. The serial code on this is a three series. So it's a three series. Um, and it's got that gold hardware. Interior is also really nice and clean. No, no like stains or marks but obviously you have those fine hairline scratches which you can see but on this piece if you know you know that this piece if you are building imagine if you're building a collection with the heart vanity and this in it this this is like again first time in my career that i've dealt with this or in my lifetime i've held a bag like this so that's why i'm very excited to see should the last one yeah so we have a mini Chanel flat pack in this beautiful dark navy tree pattern that has a dark navy, white, and baby blues throughout with um, silver hardware. This overall is in great condition. There are no pulls, rips, or stains, or darkening of any sort on all the corners. You have obviously the back pocket. I personally love this color combination for the tree. I find this tree to be pretty much year round. I like the fact that it has, you guys can see like the tiny little specks of like baby blue throughout. It is in flawless condition. This will be perfect for summer, spring, fall, winter, you name it. This would be perfect. And it's in amazing condition. The inside has a dark navy lambskin and comes with a dust bag. It doesn't come with the car. You have a little bit of like press marks on the inside, which you won't even be able to see in the camera because it is tiny. And this is a series 28. This is probably a nine out of 10 when it comes to condition, giving a 10 out of 10 just to like fresh, like fresh out of the box. This is stunning. Look up, look at that pattern. This is amazing. Tweed is just collectible as well. It is. And they're so lightweight as well when it's tweed. Like it's just, it looks really good for the morning actually. Yeah. It matches perfectly. This I is love this. beautiful. Yeah. Again, a real collector's oh, piece. That. Isn't it cool? I love you, that. A discontinued color. Yeah. That's what I love about tweed, is like certain colors come so out, unique. they go, they yeah. don't go. It's so, so unique. It's beautiful. The price is up for this one, which is 4,995 pounds, which is 6,144 USD for flawless condition Chanel mini bag. <laughs> Beautiful. It is really beautiful. The price includes the duty. So guys, the, price is the rules are yes. slashing. We ha can we this do a super fire with lots of camera handle. bags? Uh, Cat Sassy, we do need to get some more camera bags in like the blue one you sold. We Hi, Cat that, Sassy. It, like a, I a have a blue now. one coming from one of my shows. You do? Uh, yes. You need to let Cat Sassy know she's been waiting for one. I stole it from here. Oh. You did? <laughs> yes. What? Oh, I did not see a blue one. What? I don't know what she's still. I'm in my shipping box already. Like, we popped out and like, <laughs> looked at something. Oh, I looked at something and these guys have a pile of stuff. I'm like, what is happening, guys? Where is this stuff going? So, okay, guys. The last price slash is in. So the rules and the price slash is no more skews, guys. I'm not going to, because obviously we want to get, go. otherwise the screen just goes crazy. So shipping is not covered on the live. Customs and duty is covered on the live. So the rules and the price slashing, we slash the price. You just tap on the icon and you are able to grab that piece that you want for less than what we had it on the website. And duties is covered. You just have to pay shipping £10 UK, £15 Europe, and 35 pounds for the rest of the world. And the first price slash I can see, uh, guys, if one more comes in, I'll accept it. There's no more price slashing. So Adele, AWL3481 oh, is the first this price slash. Nervous. Okay, so while we get that, and Joe, I'll get yours, which is AWL. Me? Yeah. AWL3481. Uh, oh, that's old. That's sold already. Sorry. That Adele, sold, that already yeah. sold. AWL, uh, which was 2143. AWL 2143. Mm -hmm. And guys, I can't take any more. So Denise is going to be the first, uh, the last one as well. And then AWL 2679, which is, we'll start with AWL 2679. 2143. So the price was. Which one? I'm on 2679. Which one are you on? Two six seven nine. Yeah. That was two fifty. That now will be two hundred. 
hundred and ten pounds. <laughs> Isabel, uh, Kristen's face is like, what? What piece is this? Two, one, four, three. That one's ready. Ah, okay. Which? Okay, guys, I'm not Nikki. That's not is on the show. It's not on the show. We're just doing everything. So, guys, I can't take any more. I'm not taking any more yeah. prices sla slashes because otherwise it's going to be crazy. So, AGL two one two nine. Okay. Okay. AGL two one two nine, and I'll do AGS AGC one one three. And give me one. AGL two one two nine. I have to do that. ASL two four eight four. Two four eight four. So I'm gonna do AGC one one three. Uh, so. Oh, someone wants the. Okay, all right. Someone, you better grab this gypsy ear because the price is already crazy. Okay, so the price on the gypsy ear is going to be three thousand seven hundred and ninety-five pounds. That I'm not lying. It is a steal. Like, take it, grab it, enjoy it. Honestly, that also includes the customs. What? Which one are you? ASL. Which one have you got? Uh, the tweed camera bag. So the tweed think? camera bag is now going to be £4,600 for the tweed camera bag. What have you got? AGL2129. AGL2129, Nikki. The price now is, is going to be, is now going to be 2100 Get that, Nikki. That's £300 off. And then we have... Denise, I'm on Denise's SKU, which is AWL2679. And then Kristen, you're going to have Sue's SKU, which is AGL2127. I already did 2679. Which 2679 is now... Already. Is already two, Denise, yours has been reduced. Sue? That one was the 200. Okay, I'll do this one. 500 pounds off? Yeah. AGL2127 has 100 pounds off. Joe, which is... Uh, a and you'll do uh so we have Adele's which is A W L three four eight one and Joe which is A W two one three four three which I think we already did actually. Three four eight one's the Zucker wallet that's sold. A W L two one four three we can't do. Two one four three we we can't do anything on that guys already. Sorry Adele, it's already been reduced on our, our previous show that we had and no one checked out with that. So the three thousand two hundred pounds for a Chanel caviar bag guys is like. Three thousand two hundred pounds for this, guys, is mad. No like I'm sorry, like that no was way. already <laughs> that crazy. Oh, no. I was like, no You're way. It, I'm bumping it up after. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then we've got Denise, which is ASL two one four one. Me, you. Yeah. And then A A E L one zero two three, and I think I missed the last one. A W L. A W L two four. Oh, hang on, where was it? A. I oh, said so, so we had ASL two one four one. And then we have A E L. I'll do A E L. A E L one zero two three. The Givenchy. Yeah. So your Givenchy A L A E L one zero two three is now going to be. Are you doing A E L? You're doing it. Have you got it? I'll just. I've got classic flat. Fifty pounds off. Okay. Fifty pounds off, guys, for that one. And then A G R J L one six zero three. What do you think for this? Which one is this one? Chanel single media, the ASL 2421 is now going to be 5,900 pounds, guys. 5,900 pounds, uh, which is for that. So AGL 1603, which is already amazing, is gonna be 2,900 pounds for a Chanel 2.55. So. That has now been reduced, RJL. Nilsa, RJL1603, grab it. Honestly, that's amazing. I'm now on Shirley from Texas. I'm going through her SKU, which is AWL3434. And then I'm going to go to Brenner's, which is AWL1969. Oh, the lunchbox. Mm. Okay, all right. I'm good. I'll do the lunchbox. So, a Brenner. Uh, AWL. One nine six nine. Yeah. Yeah. Brenna, yours is now going to be two hundred and forty pounds. Which one's that? For the sleeve. Oh, you're doing the lunch box. This, no, I'm doing the sleeve. No, I'm doing. The lunch oh, box. I've done the sleeve. I've done it. Okay. So yeah, I've changed it. All right. So Brenna, yours has been reduced. And what was the lunch box? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Uh, that's not. Did you know that? Uh, I can't remember. Where am I now? I've lost myself. AWL three four three four. Yeah, AWL three four three four is a. It's not here. 
what what we're going to do. What are we going to do for you, Shirley? We are going to do it to you for £2,300. It was £2,500. We've taken £200 off. Do you mean? AGC. We're doing Hannah's, which is AGC1133. And then we have AGL2129. Cute. Can you do AGL2129, which is Nikki? And then I'm going to do Brenner's ADL1840. We already did AGL2129. 650 for... Uh, so, oh, so we've already done AGL2129. It's already been reduced. AGL2129 has been reduced. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki, we've already reduced that. ADL1840. Have we done that? DRM has been smashed. Dior, Dior arm has been slashed. And then roof, I'm going to do yours, which is ASL2640. Guys, the prices are being slashed. You're going to have to head to your SKUs and grab them if you want them. So ASL2640 is the Chanel Caviar Mademoiselle. It was 5995. I, I can't do much more than, okay, I'm going to do 5895. I've taken 100 pounds off, guys. Honestly, it was already a very unbeatable price. And then we have, uh, I think we, that's it. I think us, that that's, oh, we have AWL2143, maybe it's a repeat. If you guys, if you cannot repeat, because just in case we're like checking it again. Two four one three sold. So that's sold, uh, and then we have A A T A three five. Oh, A A A A T. I'm on Linda's skew, which is A three five three. I'm, which is a Y cell. The the you need to get this. The wicker one was six nine five. It's now going to be six three five. So I've taken sixty pounds off for the Chanel wicker the Y cell wicker bag. Or Raphael bag. Uh, I think that. Oh, ASL two zero six six. Sorry, what? Sky's one, which is ASL two zero six six. ASL two zero six six. And then I have ASL two six four zero, which is Carrie. Mm. What is it? You. She went. <gasps> well, good and bad. It's the one that. Ah, uh, okay. And then we have Brett. We've done Brenna. What sold? Diorama. The Yay! diorama sold. Yay. I think that's it, guys. If I've missed your skew, please let me know. Oh, I've got to go all the way back. ASL 2141. What was 2141? Can you do that? Uh, oh, the Louis Vuitton. It was 505. It's now going to be 425. I'm not hearing a lot of bells, everybody. Guys, go grab them. Okay, CW1174. And then we have ASL 1413. Okay, the Chanel East West bag was 2450. Okay, someone needs to grab that. It's 2,200 pounds. That's now been reduced to 2,200 pounds. And I think that's it. Okay, Maria ADL. Oh, did we do Maria's one, which is ADL? Someone needs to grab that gypsy air if you're not having. ADL 2082, which is a Chanel Kiss Me box thing. So ADL 81828, no, ADL 2082 was 2,200. It's now going to be 1,900. So you get three pound, 300 pounds off that, which is around 500 US dollars, which is a great price. And then we have ADL 1828. The Prada Raphael bag is five twenty. It is now four fifty, guys. I think, and then I'll do the last one, which I, we are going to head. We've got to close the price slashing. Um, oh, which is what was ASL two five four five one? I feel like. And uh, Nadi, if you can send me yours as well. Uh, two four five one. A, oh, ASL2451, where is that? The Chanel earrings was 795, is now 595. So grab those, because that is 200 pounds off. And then Corey, uh, Co so Co Corrine, I've just reduced yours, and AWL3484. If you guys want to send me your price slash slashing, if I've missed it, because our battery's about to die, 
uh, please send it to Sabrina Sadiq and I will continue to price slash. The Prada wallet was 295, 280. It is now 250, which is already a great price already. So, guys, I have to go because these guys are waiting to leave because they have eaten dinner. Uh, and I will continue to do the price slashing if you just send me a message to luxurypromise.com. So thank you guys uh, for everything. The YSL pleated sandals, uh, I will have a look. If you send me a message to Sabrina Sadiq, and I will do that. The Adele, the Hermes has been reduced, Adele. The Hermes has been reduced, Adele. AGC 113 has been reduced. So uh, message me later. And I did the dibs. What was the dibs on the thingy? So guys, if you send me a message to my name, Sabrina Sadiq, which I just pinned on Instagram, I'll do that. So we'll see you tomorrow on our show with uh, the lovely Vivian and Tima. And uh, we have Isabel at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.